Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. is coming to the shores of Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana Wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of Wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars. The power of opportunities, Faka Mana. Partnerships, Mana Natahi. Pathways, Ada. And Tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. My welcome back to Main Power Stadium out here in Rangiora for day two of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. Four games today on the stream, eight games in total. First up today, we have Central taking on the Canterbury Pride in the women's competition. The Pride undefeated at the moment and we're looking to continue that run for Central. Well, they got their first points yesterday against Southern United, so they'll be looking to build off that. My name's Mark Matsis and I'll be taking you through the action today. Hope you enjoy what we have on stream. The players are getting ready. Let's go down and see how the game goes. Here with the coach of Central, Alicia Hayward. Alicia, first points yesterday. You must be happy this morning. Um, probably not too happy, but I guess it's not a bad start considering uh, we haven't really been able to train because um, of what's happened in Hawke's Bay because um, our trainings are all um, located there. So, I mean, it is a good start, but we were looking for the three points from Southern, so hopefully we can get three points today. How do you target a game against a team like the Pride? <laughs> um, I think we're going to try and high-press them again today. Um, I think it rattled them a little bit, but hopefully we can uh, narrow that scoreline a little bit, drop it down to maybe you know four or five. I'd be, probably be happy with that. 
And I think, you know, that Southern United game this afternoon, does that change the way you target the game this morning or do you just go out and play what it is today? Um, I think we just go out and play what it is today and then, um, yeah, just to make sure the girls back it up um, later on this afternoon and, you know, get those three points. Awesome. All the best. Sweet. Here with the coach of the Cannery Pride, Ronan Nyker. Ronan, six points yesterday, still undefeated. You must be happy. Yeah, very happy. Um, can't complain, really. Uh, the girls got through a good day yesterday and um, six points, so not much to say. A couple of injuries picked up from yesterday's game. How have the girls pulled up this morning? It actually looked quite sprightly. Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed with the two injuries, potentially avoidable, but um, we'll, we'll work through it and uh, I'm sure we'll come out um, ready to play for today. How do you manage the team? I guess it's a heavy workload. We've played last night. We're back here first thing this morning playing again. Does that change the way you do your substitutions? Yeah, potentially, especially in the first game. Uh, we'll have a bit of a longer warm-up and then probably roll the uh, combinations a lot quicker than we would normally just to get the legs r running and then not giving them too many minutes um, straight up. Well, all the best for today, Ronan. Thank you, sir.
up here at Maypower Stadium for this Ford Futsal Super League Day 2 action of the Southern Travel Series. Players slowly making their way onto the court. We're just waiting on the Canterbury Pride side to join us out there. We'll take this opportunity now to go through the starting lineups. Starting with Central Futsal. It's Boxall in goal. Gurnick, G, Green and Smith round out the starting five. And for the Pride, Scarlett Gray gets a start in goal. Merkin, Nicholson, Parrott and Myers. See there, Nicholson back after a stint in Australia. Missed yesterday's games. Flew in late or early this morning. And is back out on the court. Means all of us that were here last night can't really complain about the early start. But we're in for a big day of futsal today. The Pride now the only undefeated side. Good win against Capital last night. Although that did cost them Lara Wall, who is in a moon boot. As well as I think Kogan, who is suited up but is not currently on the court so she might not take part in this morning's action and for Central obviously as it was mentioned earlier in the pre-match interview had a bit of a rough few weeks in terms of training and left disappointed with that one all draw yesterday so they'll look towards this afternoon to see if they can take some points or well, three points from Southern United that one on the stream at 12 o'clock today I believe so just to confirm today's games we've got Central taking on the pride in the women's competition at 10 o'clock Hawks Bay take on Southern United on the stream then at 12 Central take on Southern United and finish one all yesterday so it'll be a great game and then we'll finish off here at 2pm. Hawks Bay taking on the Dragons. If you are in the area definitely worth coming out here to Main Power Stadium out in Narangi or up. Of course there are two courts so on court two we have Capital taking on Southern. We'll keep you updated with the score of that throughout the game today. But the players look ready to get started. Referees are in position. And we are ready to go, and it will be central to get us kicked off. Green sitting over the ball. We talked about having a high press in this game. As Nicholson gets the first shot away, but Boxall able to collect that one. But they had talked pre-match about rattling this pride side early and looking to put a bit of pressure on as the misplaced pass there is out of court near side kick in for the pride as Nicholson looks to turn to mark as she does so gets a shot away deflection there will be out of court for a corner on this near side first real opportunity there for the pride inside the first 30 seconds As Myers finds the feet of Nicholson, but again, it's just position turned over there. And it was Gurnick there who just cleared that one away. It will be Pride Ball again. High presses coming here from Central as Parrott misses out there. And it is Green who comes away with it. Near side here for Gurnick. As cries of a foul. But nothing from the referees. Yes. Turned over here. Chance to shoot. And good save there. First up by Scarlett Gray. And at the moment, opportunities coming here for Central early in this first half. And at the moment, G wide of the target. Probably be a fresh ball sent in. 
I like this high press from Central, forcing the pride. There's Merkin now, a bit of space for her to drive forward, gets a shot away, it's in. Great finish there from Merkin. Just too much space from Central, picked her spot. And... Press. And the pride. Wow. Minute 10 gone, and they are 1-0 up here. Central just need to hold position. We talked about it last night as well with the way Capital played. Just guilty of kicking it away a little bit too much. As Nicholson now turns, looking to get that ball across, but it's well put out there by Smith. And it will be a pride ball on the far side. There's Merkin. Puts that across the face of the goal, but Boxall just parries that one away. Falls here for Perrett. And a good turn there from Green. And she does win the kick in on the near side. Central. Good play here. Chance here for Gurnick. Oh, it just had to be made there by Nicholson as she comes forward at pace. And on the deck, but no foul call there from the referee, and Central will come again, but turned over again from Myers now. Left behind. Back and forward at the moment. Neither side really able to hold possession as Nicholson sees that one out of court on the far side. As Merkin drops down the line for Myers. Good defence coming from Central here. And they have forced it out of court here for the Pride. Merkin looks to play back as far as Gray. Press coming from Central and forces the error. But Gurnick can't find feet there, and it's turned over again. Good challenge there from Smith. G, back to Smith. Near side now for Gurnick. Good work there from Perez. She comes forward. Space for her. Centres. Chance. And it's in. I think it was Myers that got the touch there. But there was two of them lining up for the pride. And that's number two for the day. Two and a half minutes gone. Two goals for the Pride. It's just good counter-attacking futsal there. And Central to get back into their rotations. The thing about full press is you tie quickly, which means that when you are on... Attack, you need to make sure you get back on defence. We've seen great examples of the way that capital side have managed to get back on goal side. There's a chance here for Nicholson to get around her marker. She's got Myers with her, rolls once. And that's found its way in. Not sure if that was another little tap in there. Let's see what the referee says, but that's goal number three. Oh, it is. Yes, it is Myers, number two for her. Just another good team goal there from the Pride. It's clinical passing. There's Linden now onto the court. Parrott runs out of space there. And it will be a kick in on this near side for Central. Three minutes 15 gone in this first half. 3-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Court one, nil nil still between Capital and Southern United. Pretty much the same time on the clock there. As Green sends that one forward. But Linden can't keep that in. As change is coming now for the Pride. It's Morrow, DeWitt, Patel, and Merkin still on the court. As Morrow now. Plays the feet off Merkin. Still pressing hard here. A good press. Chance and good save there. As the shot comes in from Green, but no real challenge there for the goalkeeper Gray as Morrow drops back for Merkin. DeWitt 
Good challenge again from Central. The press is working. As to it. Clips it here for Merkin. Central court. Patel, her first touch of the day. As Morrow does well, but it will be a kick in. Good defensive work there from Smith. And a kick in on this near side. And again, position turned over. As Patel to get us back underway. Uses to it. And she can't connect with Patel. And a turnover here for the Pride. Far side for Dewitt. Drops it back in the middle. And good clearance there. By, I think it was Harding. And a sh shapes for Morrow. And a good save from Boxall. As Patel comes in trying to clean up. There's that one. Rolls all the way down. And as far as great. And I'll start again from the back here. All the pride. Do it. Good touch from her. And she looks to get round her marker. Does so well. Can she get the shot away? She does. Good save from Boxall. And it falls nicely away for Central. As they look to make their way out from the back. Good challenge here from Fisher. I think it is into the action for the first time. As Central now on the counter. Good chance here. One on one with the keeper. But well left out there from Gray. There's Cleo Harding. Just couldn't keep that one in. Yeah, it's good work there as DeWitt. Can she keep that in? She has Fisher in the middle. Will she use it? Cuts it back inside. Looks to get the shot. Fisher trying the back heel. Turns, shoots. Good save from Boxall. And it's again. Good save again. Boxall had to be awake there. And two saves. There's Patel now. Bit of space for her. Uses Morrow. Back to Patel. Space to shoot. Does. Good save again from Boxall. Falls there for Fisher. Back to Patel. And it's in. Boxall just couldn't quite get enough of it. And that's another goal for Serena Patel. And it's 4-0 here. Just over five minutes gone. Score update, Capital lead, one goal to nil over Southern United. As press coming here from the Pride now. There's a little touch there from DeWitt. Means Boxall can pick that up as she throws long. But Linden can't keep that one under control. And it will be a keeper's ball from Gray. And she rolls for Fisher. Patel, good turn. Good defensive work there from Linden. As she doesn't let Patel get away. And it will be a throw out here from Gray as Fisher's in a bit of space, unmarked. Gets the shot away, and again, a good save. DeWitt was arriving there back post, but I think it was Cleo Harding who managed to get a touch on that, which Boxall picked up. Six minutes gone here. 4-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. It's Cleo Harding trying to drive through. A couple of Pride players. And it's out for a corner ball far side. No, nope, it's a keeper's ball, says the referee. So we'll play the goal line clearance. As Gray throws long for DeWitt. Heads on that. Patel coming forward now. Harding putting pressure on there. Good challenge there from Gurnick. As it's back as far as great. DeWitt fought here for Morrow. Press coming from Central. Still working hard on defence. As Patel tries to turn around Harding there. And loses out. Linden. And a chance here for the pride. Good challenge there from Cleo Harding. But... The Pride 
Kick away position. As we see Robert onto the court for the first time today for Central. As to work, it's speed and good run there from Cleo Harding. And she just runs out of court on that far side. I like the way that Central are pressing on defence. I just think they need to hold on to the ball. There's a chance here for Fisher. And she misses the target. Again, that ball that's coming across there is speeding the Central press at the moment. I'd just like to see Central hold on to position a little bit more. I think it is hard when they haven't been able to train, which means that they're have those opportunities to practice rotations as Patel flicks this one forward for DeWitt she brings that down nicely and again it's Cleo Harding not allowing anything through at the moment as they throw long again DeWitt a touch towards Morrow her touch is a bit heavy and a chance here for Central as Gurnick turns it back far side now Good work here from Central as Morrow comes in and cleans that up. As we see Malbun onto the court for the first time as well today. Be interesting to see how Coach Ronan Nyker uses his substitutions today as Malbun's first touch is a shot which is blocked there by Firth. And eventually falls for Gray as Morrow now. Pressure coming there from Harding. That's that ball again through, but this time just a little bit too far for DeWitt. There's a bit of water on the court here as the Elsko towel comes out from the referees. And it will be a kick in on this near side. In the corner, one all between Southern and Capital. There you go. Eight minutes gone there. There's a chance here for White. And good save from Boxall. As Fisher had the goal in front of her. A sliding Boxall. Keeps it at four. DeWitt steps back inside. Shaping to find that channel, but just drops it back for Firth now. And she tries to find the feet of Fisher, but it's out of court. Will be a goal clearance. Keeper's ball. Eight minutes gone here. 4-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. As Boxall throws long here for Central. Hannah Robert brings that one under control. As press coming here from the pride this time and Melbourne just clears that one away will be a keeper's ball as Gray throws long and good turn here from Fisher but Boxall's out early and just slaps that one into the crowd and there's a kick in here for the pride Again, good work there. Fisher, good save again from Boxall. Off her line quickly. Just smothering any chances at the moment for Fisher. There's Nicholson back onto the court now for the Pride. And she tries to find a shooting lane, but easy this time for Boxall. Both sides pressing high on defence at the moment as Firth sends that one away. There's Cameron now with the kick in. Melbourne, good challenge there from White. Finds the feet almost of Nicholson. Chance for her to turn, drops it back for White. And she'll just start it again with Firth at the back. Far side for Myers. Firth. White press coming now from Central. This is good work here from Turner. Gets the shot away, but 
Good save there from Gray. Still here for Central. Cameron. Drops it back for Melbourne, who takes the shot, but it's high off the target. And it will be a keeper's ball as they go long here for White. She can't bring that one under control. Still pressing after nine and a bit minutes here, uh, Central. There's Robert. Gets us back underway. A central look to play out from the back. Chips this one forward for Turner. But beats everyone. Nicholson now. Balbun coming forward on her. Can Nicholson get out? No. Good press there. From the number 11. Wins her side the corner. There's Melbourne. Shot comes again, but again high. There's that ball. Rolls away from everyone. There's Gray. Throws long again. Fisher in a bit of... That's Firth in a bit of space. Chance. Good save again from Boxall. She gets off her line early. There's Nicholson now. Melbourne who... Gets on that one and forces that out. Capital just gone 2-1 up over Southern. 4-0, still the scoreline here. As a shot comes in and cleared away there by Robert. As Firth near side for Myers. Nicholson. Can't keep that under control. Kick in here for Central. Firth, first to that one, but it falls nicely there for Turner. And she sends that shot in. Just a few shots probably coming from just a bit too far away from the goal at the moment from Central. As Nicholson tries to roll around Melbourne, she does enough to get a foot in there and forces it out of court on the far side. And apparently a kick in there for Central. I'll stick to commentary. As the Pride do now have a kick in. White pressure there coming from Central and it's a turnover. Robert. Press coming there from White. Good work from her. And she gets the shot away back post. Nicholson was arriving. We tick over the halfway mark of this first half. Nine minutes, 49 remaining. 4-0 the scoreline. No fouls yet from either side. As Myers finds the feet of Nicholson. She tries to get around Melbourne. Does. Does she have support? Goes for goal. And Boxall. Another save from her. be a kick in on the far side here for Pride. White trying to roll her marker, get into that shooting lane. Nicholson, Malban does enough there as Boxall collects the loose ball, throws long here, but taken by Firth. White to Nicholson. Space for her to come forward. Good challenge there coming from Cameron. Still Nicholson. Cameron now does come away with it and drives down the line on this near side. And just slows the play down as it's Turner. Lays it back. Good ball across, but sent away there by Gray. Heavy touch from Nicholson. This is better from Central. Not sure if the Pride are conserving a bit of energy for the next game against Capital later on today, but Central have definitely found their way back into this game. Creating opportunities. And the defensive structure just seems to be working a bit more for them now. As Nicholson. 
Asking for the five. Firth trying to find the feet of Smith on this near side. Sorry, White. Out of court. As it went out. A little bit further up the court. And Central. This is nice from Central. Chance just wide of the target there from Turner. There's Gray. Throws long here for White. She won't be able to bring that one in. There's changes coming for Central. Green back onto the court. Bringing this one under control. Drops it back. Far side now. Good ball forward, but it's Nicholson who's first to it. Chance here on the counter for... And again, Boxall stopping everything that White's sending at her at the moment. And she tracks back to win the ball back. Myers. Pressure coming from behind, but Merkin will drive into the half now. And she gets around her marker. Centres the ball and I think that's a corner cleared away there by Melbourne. Merkin looking for the feet of Myers and sent her a chance here for Central, but Merkin. Tracking back well. And that will be a corner, I believe. Capital lead now three goals to one over Southern United on court two. Six minutes remaining there in that first half. 4 0. Still the scoreline here as Nicholson. One on one with Mal Bunn. Still going. Myers drops back for Nicholson. Trying to find that shooting lane through the legs. Falls for Nicholson. Chance to shoot. Good block there. Still going as Nicholson. And wide of the target. But it was Green that did enough there. As Boxhill throws long. Too long there. As Linden can't chase on to that one. As Parrott back onto the court for the Pride. Merkin finding the feet of Nicholson. Back to goal. And it's trying to turn good challenge there coming. And it's Linden who comes away with it, but just out of court. Good defensive play from Central. As Patel and DeWitt back onto the court for the Pride. As DeWitt tries to turn that one back inside, but it's fallen here for Parrott. And it is out of court. Will be a kick in for Central. Seven minutes remaining in this first half. 4 0 the scoreline. There's Green. Can't keep that one in. Turns it over for the Pride. Still pressing uh, central. As Parrott can't keep that ball in play. There's that one. It's a good ball across the face of the goal. From Smith. No one on it there for central. And it will be a kick in again for the Pride as they work out to it. Drops here for Patel. Heavy touch from her, and that'll roll as far as Boxall. And she rolls far side for Smith. Patel sends that one away. And it will be a kick in on the near side. Gurnick drops for Linden. DeWitt, good work there from G. And she sets that one forward. But it's Gray who's there first. Patel. Trying to get round her marker. 
Here's Gurnick. Did well there. Here's Gurnick now in a bit of space. And she trips that one across, but it's out of court. And will be a keeper's ball. Six minutes remaining here. 4 0 the scoreline. Those for goals came with inside the first four minutes. So Central have really found their way back into this game. There's a chance now coming forward. Drops it off. And it's in. And it's an own goal there from the Pride. You felt like it's been coming. But it was good work there from Central. As they just force it across the face of the goal. And again, that press working for Central. And that'll get their heads up and change a bit of momentum as Merkin back onto the court. Working hard now is Green. Still going is Green. Pulls for Patel. DeWitt, Perrett on the far side. Green, no, that's Gurnick tracking back. As Patel now. Let's see what she can do from this situation. Linden gets a touch on that and it's out of court. Kick in for the Pride. Five and a half minutes remaining. 4-1 the scoreline. As Patel. DeWitt. Still going here as DeWitt gets around. Good sliding challenge there from Gurnick. And it's out of court for a corner. As Central come driving forward now through Gurnick. Uh, turned over for Perrett. It'll drop here for Linden. And DeWitt onto that one quickly. Using Patel. Patel. Space for her. What can she do here? Perrett trying to flick that one round, but it'll be out of court on this near side as Gurnick couldn't keep that one in. As coach Ronan Nyker sends a fantastic throw. Move the ball back from the far side. As Merkin loses out there. Coming forward now is Gurnick. As hustling is G. But DeWitt sends that one out. Subs coming now for Central. As a shot comes in, but that's just wide of the target. It's Khalil Harding. As Gray well, to get us underway. Throws long here for Patel. She can't keep that one in. Near side kick in for Central. Four and a half minutes remaining. I'd love to peg one back in this half, I'm sure. As Patel coming forward on Gurnick. Good challenge from Gurnick. Stay strong. And Central able to clear their line. Merkin no choice but to send that one out on the far side. Kick in now for Central. Linden chips this one in. And Merkin gets enough of a hit on it to send that out for a corner. Yes, Gurnick chips this one in. Palmed away by Gray and sent away by Perrett. Be out of court just on the halfway line. The pride being made to work here by the central side as Patel now slips forward for DeWitt but a heavy touch from her falls for Boxer who throws long here Patel heads DeWitt trying to find the feet of Merkin but it's out of court on this near side kick in for central sent forward here there's a heavy touch, but working hard as G as it falls here for DeWitt. She has Patel. Uses her. Patel. Good save from Boxall again. 
Just keeping her side in it at the moment is Boxel. As it falls here for DeWitt again. Uses Patel. Chance for Patel. Good block there from Gurnick. And it's out for a kick in on the far side. Three and a half minutes remaining here. 4 1 the scoreline. As a shot comes in. And I think that's sent away there by G. Out of court, near side. We've kept them out for a while now. Have central. As Merkin sends for DeWitt. She flicks that one in. Patel. Good challenge there from Gurnick again. Will be out of court on this near side. There's changes coming now for the Pride. Morrow, White, Fisher, and Firth back onto the court. There's White now. Fisher, Firth. As Firth collects that one. As Fisher rolling this near side. Puts it down for Firth. And she can't quite cut that one back. And it's easy pickings there for Boxall. She rolls near side for Robert. Driving forward as Morrow's first to it. Fisher. Press still coming. And... The turnover forced there from Central. And again turned over. Sent forward here for Morrow, but Boxel's out quickly. And clears that one away. Two and a half minutes remaining here in this first half. Day two action of the Ford Futsal Super League. There's a shot coming from Firth as wide of the target. Three more games today after this on the stream, as well as court two in action as well. Still 3-1 there in favour of Capital. A couple of minutes remaining there in that first half as well. There's a chance here for Central. Koenig chooses to come back as Robert dancing around. Challenge coming there from White. And she drops it back for Firth. White. Chipping that full, but Robert's in the way again. And there's a foul probably called there. And it's the first foul of the half. Comes with two minutes remaining. Gee, far side. Turned over here. Chance for the Pride. Boxall, though, out early. And gets the shot away. The full there for Gray. And she'll roll central court for Morrow. But chance to shoot here. Still there. But getting a bit in each other's way there. Ah, the Pride. Morrow now. Can she keep this one in? Does well. Still going. G working hard on her. Far side now for Firth. Fisher, Firth. Good save from Boxall. Still there, Fisher. And it's it. Boxall did all the hard work, but the follow-up there from the Pride. And they get their fifth of the day. 5-1 the scoreline. One minute, 20 remaining. Central held them out for large periods of that half. And it's Fisher coming forward again now. Drops there. I think it was Cleo Harding, but ends up with Pride in possession. Fisher now. Firth. Uses White. Good challenge there from Gurnick as she comes forward. Gets a shot away. Good save there from Gray. And it will be a corner here for Central inside the last minute of the first half. There's Gurnick almost running out of time there. 
Ends up just kicking that one straight out. Will be keeper's ball. Still pressing here. Ah, central. Rolls for Firth. Uses the feet of White up top. Rolls back. Firth now gets the shot away off the post and almost falls there. But it's Cleo Harding who comes away with it. Good challenge there from Fisher. She gets a chance to shoot. Good save from Boxall. Falls here for Robert. Harding drops for Robert. Rolls. Challenge from Fisher. And they'll settle it down here again. But Robert equal to that. Gurnick. 15 seconds remaining. Chip forward here from Gurnick. And it's White who comes away with it. Still going as White. And gets the shot away, but it's wide of the target. But a confusion there with the buzzer coming from court two. And it's half time there. 3 1 for Capital at the moment. This still has just under seven seconds remaining. As Boxall rows for Melbourne. She sends that forward, and it's Firth who gets to it. White now. And that'll do it for this first half here. The Canterbury Pride will take the lead into the break. Five goals to one over Central. We'll take this chance for a break. We'll be back here in five minutes. Stick around. has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. we are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be. New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years.
And my hockey mark, welcome back to Main Power Stadium. On day two of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. First half completed here between the Pride and Central. The Pride up five goals to one as it stands. And on court two, Capital leading Southern United three goals to one. Well, the Pride got off to a flyer in the first half. Four goals up inside the first four minutes. But then Central dug in, got into their work and ended up getting one back before the Pride scored again in the final minute. And as the players return back to the court will be a Pride ball to get us started. Of course, more action coming to you throughout the day today. Next up, we have the men's competition. Hawks Bay taking on Southern United. And that kicks off as the Pride to start the second half, how they started the first. As Smith driving forward into the half. Drops here for Linden. Green. Pressure coming here from Fisher, and she can't keep that one in. Will be a box will throw. And she drops for Linden. Press coming now from Myers. Nicholson first to the loose ball. And she drives into the half, trying to get around Marker. Does so. Centering ball, but no one there for the Pride. And it will be a kick in on the far side. Gurnick. Fisher coming forward on her. And it's still in. As the players almost all stop there. Gurnick near side for Linden. Is sent out of court. On this near side will be a kick in here for Central. Touch on the way through. So he's the referee. There's the pass ends up out of court again. Will be a keeper's ball. Gray throws for Fisher. Morrow. And he can force that one into Gurnick, but wins the kick in. Nicholson sitting up top. There's Fisher back for Morrow. There's Central. Come forward with it now through Green. But she runs out of court on the far side. Nicholson. Trying to find a way through. Morrow now. Nicholson, good play there, but good block. Falls for Myers. And there's pressure coming for her. Fisher. Morrow steps back inside. Gets the shot away and it's in. Great finish there from Morrow. Unsighted, I think, Boxer was. And Canterbury get one early in the second half, as do Capital. 6-1 the scoreline here in favour of the Pride over Central. 4-1. Capital lead over Southern United. There's Fisher to get us back underway. Far side now for Nicholson. Morrow. Trying to get around her marker. Does so past Smith. Gets the shot away. Boxhill this time. Holds on to it, throws this one long, but Nicholson first to it, falls for Myers. She can't find the feet of Nicholson, but she hustles hard to win it back. Back to goal is Nicholson, driving herself back. Drops there for Myers, but she'd turn to rotate around. So it will be a kick in on the far side for Central. Myers puts a foot in the way of that one. Sent forward here by Garnick. Chance here, but it just falls a little bit too far away from Smith as she shaped to shoot. And good work there from Green. Almost gets the deflection 
from the challenge on target. And it will be a keeper's ball, full press coming again from Central. Interesting to see how the Pride work to break that press in the second half as Morrow now looked after by Linden. And Linden still going but can't get the shot on target. As it's rolled, central court for Fisher. Myers, good interception there from Green. They can't get past Morrow. It'll be a kick in on this near side for Central. There's a shot coming from Linden. And she did scream out, someone go back post, and then sent it to the back post where no one was waiting. And changes now for the Pride. As Parrott can't bring that one under control. Be a kick in again on this near side for Central. Almost three minutes gone in this second half. 6 1 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. It was 5 1 at half time. Sent forward here, Parrott. First two, that one just drops it forward, but it falls for G. Linden near side again for G as she cuts back inside. And there's a good ball forward here for Smith, but she can't quite keep that one in. I like the way that they've continued with this press central, forcing Canterbury to play it out from the back is Merkin near side for Perrett. Good defensive work there from Green. She's just forced into the corner there by Firth. They're kicking on this near side. Perrett, far side for White. Merkin. She can't get through. Smith and just caught late there was Firth. First foul of the second half. Good work there from Smith to turn it over. White. Firth. Drops that for Parrott. And sent out by Linden on the far side. Again, that press from Central, well organised at the moment. Just had there been another chance here for Central. And it was G, again, working hard. She's looked energetic. Number eight has a shot coming in there, saved by Gray, and another shot is high and wide of the target there from Gurnick. There's White. Can't get it past Green here who drives forward. Chance to shoot. Try to get around Firth. And eventually shot is blocked and falls there for Gray who sends it long. Well that's straight to Harding. And Sarah and White come together. Gurnick. Forward, but Firth gets ahead to that. Parrott now. Taken there from Green. Playing with some real energy in the cell. As she tries to find the feet of G running forward there. Rolled for White, but again turned over and again set out of court. Far side kicking. First five minutes gone in this second half. 6 1 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Melbourne, near side for Harding. She tries to push that down the line, but Firth gets a foot on that one.
sent forward by Gurnick. Parrott was first there, and Gurnick can't bring that under control. And it will be a kick in on the far side for the Pride. 4 1 the scoreline. Capital lead over Southern on court two. There's the Pride. Get the shot across, but it's there for first. Turn there from Perrett. Mal Bun drops that one back. G. Can't get around Merkin. As that ends up out of court, far side. Harding now. Near side for Mal Bun. Pressure coming here from the Pride. Drop back for Gurnick. And sent forward, but that's straight to Gray. He throws here for Merkin. As White lets that one roll out after it took a touch. So it will be a kick in now for the Pride. Sent forward for Merkin. Back to Firth. Shot away, but no real power on it. And easy there for Boxel. And she rolls for G. Far side now for Gurnick. Chris coming here from White. And that'll be a foul there. Gurnick. Called for it. Second foul of the half from Central. Tried to claim innocence there. Has a chance for Firth and good save there from Boxall between the legs. As Central played out from the back. Sent forward here for Gurnick. White gets on that loose ball. Chips it forward for Merkin, but out of court. Will be a kick in for Central. Near side now for Malbun. She's a shot, but that's wide of the target. As Southern United look to have pegged and won back. 4-2 the scoreline now in favour of Capital as Patel on the court tries to send that forward for DeWitt to good turn from her as she drives down the line looking for Nicholson in the centre of the court but it's turned over here from Central Harding holds it up nicely tries to flick down the line there for Cameron but it's out of court and the Pride will start again Myers as Patel can't keep that one under control just rolls out of court Left here for Cameron, down the line for Harding. Again, they can't keep it in as Patel uses Gray. Nicholson drops back for Patel. Far side now for Myers. Patel again tries to find the feet of Nicholson. Too much work to do there for her. Seven minutes gone in the second half. 6-1 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Yes, chip forward here for Harding, who tries to get around Patel. She just sends that one out of court. Kick it again. Yes, Malbun slaps that shot and blocks by DeWitt falls for Cameron but Nicholson does well to win that 2 on 1 here DeWitt chance can she finish no wide of the target an open goal there for DeWitt she'd got around Boxall and she just couldn't hit the target there's Robert now puts it through the legs as that falls again for Robert as she drives for Patel gets a toe on it falls here for Cameron chance to shoot good save from Gray Still there for Central, but it's DeWitt now who comes away with it. Patel on the far side, one-on-one. -on -one. Patel with the keeper, can't get around Boxall. Good save there again from Boxall. Off her line quickly. And Patel couldn't finish it. Good work there from DeWitt. And it's flicked forward here and cleared away by Harding.
as Myers gets us back underway. Drops for Nicholson. He has a shot. And it's high and wide of the target. There's Boxel now. Rolls near side for Robert. Press coming now from DeWitt. Good pressure there from the number 18. And it will be a kick in on this near side for the Pride. As DeWitt can't keep that one under control. Despite the scoreline, I have to say Central have played very positive futsal. I think when you come up a quality side like the Pride, it's good to keep positive, and they've done that. Just playing their own game. Coach did say if we can keep them, I think five or six was the was the hope, not letting it blow out, and they're doing so at the moment. As Nicholson, Robert coming on her as he puts a good ball through forward. Myers, Patel is there, but she can't find it. Nicholson now gets around one, trying to centre the ball, but good work there from Central. But Cameron can't keep that one in. And it is out of court on this near side. Will be a kick in for the Pride. DeWitt drives down the line. Flicks inside for Patel, but sent away there by Malbutt. And hits the roof. Will be a kick in just on the halfway line. Up here, up here, please. Up here. Yeah. Up, up. There's Patel now. Rolls back for DeWitt. Centres. Chance here for Nicholson. Good save again from Boxall. There's a lot of traffic in there. As Central clear their lines. Turnover possession again. Will be Gray this time. Who rolls for Patel. Drops it off for Myers. She steps into the half. Finds a feet of Nicholson. Back to goal for her. Gets a shot away and it's in. Great turn and shoot there from... Brittany Lee Nicholson is back to goal, takes a few touches and just hits that shot and ripples the netting. Great finish there from Brittany Lee Nicholson. And that makes it 7-1 here. Just under nine minutes gone. In this first half, as Robert hits that one into Myers out of court on this near side. Sent forward here. Or turn up. Too far away from her is Gray. Throws long here, but Robert in the right spot. But it's Patel who is there, but she can't keep that one in. Kick in now for Central. Linden chips forward. And a nice little back heel there, but DeWitt equal to it. Linden. Falls now for the pride. Nicholson finds DeWitt. Steps back inside. Can she get the shot away? Room to shoot. But straight at the keeper. And sent forward here by Turner. And hit there from DeWitt. Patel. Numbers. Good save from Boxel. Falls for Patel. Boxel still going. And she drops it for Robert. There's Linda now. Robert. Bit of space for her. Smith. Good turn from her. Finds the centering ball, but goes straight to the pride and they clear their lines. Halfway through the second half. 7 1 the scoreline in favour of the pride. Still 4 2 on court two. There's a shot. Coming in there from Linden. And is left by Gray. Nicholson now sends this one forward for Firth. It's Morrow who picks up the loose ball. Drops back for White. She sends it forward here for Firth. Heavy touch from her. There's Smith. Can't keep it under control, but sent out by Firth. Linden sent forward, but... 
too long. And Gray will collect that. And she finds the feet of Morrow. She does well to keep this in. Cuts back inside, gets the shot away, but it just hits the outside of the goal. And Central. So they survive again. There's Boxel. Look to throw long here. Firth, first to it. Morrow. Still Firth, but heavy touch from her out of court, far side. Bit of frustration coming down for the central players. There's that one. Can't find its way into court. As White drops for Firth. She can't get around the two players. As Smith still going, but it'll roll away. Good hustle there from the number 12. As Firth and Smith coming together. Smith. He'll come away with it. Of course, next up on court one on the stream, we have Hawks Bay taking on Southern United. We'll see two games from Central and two games from Hawks Bay today on the stream. And Central look to come again, but it's fallen here for White. She has Morrow, uses her. Bit of space for Morrow, but good tracking back there from Smith. And pushed out for a corner. Nine minutes remaining in this second half. Shot coming in, but easy for Boxhill. As she throws long here for Green. Brings it down nicely as White battling hard there. Still going, and I think Green's done enough there to win the kick in. Central. Get us back underway. Drops here for Linden. She sends it forward. It's Firth who's there. And in position of the ball now. Sends this forward for Fisher. Her touch is heavy. Chance for Green. Still going as Green. As White comes forward on her. Falls to Gurnick who gets the shot away but not enough power and wide of the target. Still pressing here. Ah, uh, Central. A little touch through there from Linden. He had a court for a kick in. Eight and a half minutes remaining here. Seven one the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Firth can't get around Linden. As Gray rolls for Morrow. Drops back for Firth. White really been able to have extended periods of possession of the pride and could work there from Smith again just being forced by Central into making the mistakes as Morrow now driving forward can't get the shot away, good save there from Boxall and she manages to keep that one in sends it long here as Fisher puts a foot up, falls for White Sent away there by Gurnick. Will be a kick in for the Pride. Seven minutes 42 remaining. And there's a shot coming in from White. And she centers to Morrow. They seem to work to get away from those defenders at the moment. The Pride. They're defending hard. And good work there from Green. As Morrow comes diving in, has left it behind. Green. Chips four, but straight into White, but it's fallen nicely here for Gurnick. She drops back for Linden. Chance here for Green. A good save there from Gray. Just a bit too easy there. That ball through for Central. Good opportunity, though. 
You know, take your chances against a side like the Pride. As Linden sends that one in off the back of White, who just toes it forward. And Smith sees that one out of court, far side. Just under seven minutes remaining here. The Pride. To have not the three points, have seen stranger things in a game of futsal. As Fisher now loses out. Gurnick, far side for Smith. She sends that one forward and it's out of court. This change is coming now for the Pride. Patel, Merkin, Nicholson, and Myers onto the court. As Patel uses Gray. Nicholson, space for her, sends it forward, too far forward for the run of Merkin. And Boxall collects that one, throws long. Good touch there from Green. And she sends it forward as Nicholson. Bit of space for her to drive into the half. Coming forward as Green, good challenge. But still going as Nicholson gets the shot away. Falls here for Myers. Pressure coming now from Smith. And she does well to win that. But Green can't keep it in. It's rushing it a bit there. Were central. Did the hard work. And turned it over too quickly as the Pride. Go back to Gray. Patel now. Good press coming from Gurnick. And she's almost won it there. As Patel ends up in a heap. Gray. Patel. Chips forward, but out of the court. A couple of wavy arm motions there from Coach Ronan Nyker. As the shot comes in, a little touch there from Cleo Harding. And it will be Gray who rolls here for Patel. Trying to get away from Green. Still going as Patel. A good turn in the end there from Patel. Drops for Myers. Falls to the feet. Myers again. Shot wide of the target. It was Nicholson who put the ball back into the centre court. But Myers couldn't hit the target. As Boxall throws long here. Chip forward. Myers does well. Merkin still going here as Cleo Harding gets the shot away and a good save there. Saw it late. Did great. Just pushed that one over the crossbar. And it will be a corner here for Central. Shot coming in. Good save from Gray. Good shot from Gurnick. And they still have the kick in on the far side to Central. Gurnick. Blocked by Patel. Falls in a court. Box will come forward. Still chasing is Patel. Gurnick now. Bit of space for her. Drops down the line. Steps back inside. Gets the shot away. Good save from Gray as it took the deflection. As Gurnick again. Shot away. Blocked by Nicholson this time. There's chip forward for Gurnick. Trying to find Gurnick. And Merkin will just see that one out of court. Under five minutes remaining here. 7-1 the scoreline as Gray throws forward. Gurnick sends that back to Gurnick. Can she get around Merkin? No. Bit of space. Merkin driving forward. But Gur Gurnick will see that one out of court. Kick in far side now for Central. Chipped forward. Head from Myers as Nicholson can't keep that one in. There's Harding now. A little touch away there from Myers. Update from court two, still 4-2. Just under two minutes remaining there. 
As ball centered there, but Gray gets to it first. Throws forward for Nicholson. Sent forward here for Patel. Nicholson back to Patel. Chance. Good save from Boxall again. As Patel went for the placement. But Boxall read that well and forced out of court on the far side. It'll be a kick in for the Pride. As Merkin drives a shot in. And Boxall does enough. Near side now for Cameron. And she tries to put that down the line. Be out of court. Patel takes the kick in. Merkin. Far side for Myers. Good defensive work there from her. Merkin. And again, good work from Cleal Harding this time. Still defending hard, our central. Three minutes 52 remaining. 7 1 the scoreline as Nicholson can't get around Cleal Harding. Forward for Nicholson, but again, defense is good for central. Yes, I think that one. We'll have to request a fresh one from the referees. A couple of balls to collect from that stand today. As Merkin drives it in, but again, Cleal Harding gets in the way of that one out of court near side. As Merkin will get us back underway. Nicholson, bit of space for her. She does get the shot away, but it's wide of the target. And Boxall will throw long here. Cleal Harding brings that one under control. Flicks it forward here for Gurnick. As it's fallen nicely there for Harding. But Patel on the line. Golden opportunity there for Central. And it's Gurnick, the number six, who's causing the problems at the moment for the Pride. And good challenge there from Cameron. Just sends that one away. Nicholson drops for Patel. Sends it back across. Bit of a touch. Gurnick heads that one forward. And Merkin will send it back as far as Gray. Merkin. Press coming now from Central. Still working hard. And that's just sent out on this near side from Merkin. And it's full time on. Oh, there's a bit of a leak in the roof. I think that's the problem here. As that Elsko towel is out again. As the Pride take the chance to make some changes. Let's do central. Just keep an eye on that throughout the day. It is raining here. Out in Rangiora. Full time on court two. 4 2 the scoreline in favour of Capital. Two minutes 54 remaining here. And central look to be out. Good run forward here from Turn. Harding, sorry, but it's turned over again. Parrott, as Cameron comes forward on her, sent back for Fisher. And again, good work there from Cameron. As Fisher sends it for DeWitt. Clip forward, touch of the hand there, but nothing called from the referee as the prize still come. That will be a... Either a corner or a kick in. Pretty much in the same spot. Doesn't make too much difference. It's placed on the line for a kick in. Falls here for Morrow. Perrett sends it back as far as Gray. 
forward now for Fisher. Good turn from her. One-on-one numbers. And it's in the back of the net from Morrow. Good counter there from the Pride. As Fisher descends that three players forward for the Pride. And it's Morrow who puts it in the back of the net. 8-1 the scoreline now in favour of the Pride. Two minutes remaining in this game as Melbourne near side for Harding. Chips that one forward. But Turner can't bring it under control and it's dropped back for Gray. Fisher now driving forward. Bit of space for her. Uses DeWitt. Fisher. Turner comes forward on her. Parrott. Good work there from Malban as she's forward. Gets the shot away, but it's wide of the target. Again, good defensive work from Central. They've stayed positive in this game. DeWitt. Can't get around Cameron, but it falls back for Morrow. Bit of space for her. Sends it forward here for Parrott. Is still going. Drops it back for Morrow. DeWitt. Flicks forward here for Fisher. Again, good defence there from Harding. And it falls for Turner. Malbun now. She sends it forward to Harding. As Fisher gets the head. Double head, in fact. As to it now. Falls back for Fisher. Morrow. As Malbun comes forward on her. And it is a kick in for the Pride. 52 seconds remaining. Parrott sends that forward for DeWitt, but it's out of court. There's Robert onto the court, replacing Harding. Chip forward here for Turner, but Fisher positions herself well. And it will be a keeper's ball as Gray throws long for Parrott. Brings that one under control. Robert gets a foot in. And it's out of court. Far side. Morrow, good turn from her. Gets the shot away. Beautiful shot there from Morrow. That was a great turn to begin with. Just to create that space. And then she just absolutely roofs it. And it's a great finish there with 31 seconds remaining. 9-1 the scoreline now in favour of the Pride. Again, I'll say it though. Central have kept exceptionally positive in this game. have stuck to their game plan. And there's Parrott now. Near side forward, DeWitt. She tries to turn around Cameron. But forced back. And sent out of court. Will be a kick in here with 18 seconds remaining. Sent forward. Fisher gets ahead to it. Again sent forward, but wide of the target. Robert couldn't bring that one under control. And it's Gray. This rolls that for Fisher. Drop back. Chance for Robert. Shot is wide off the target. They've definitely had their opportunities in this game central. As Morrow drops back. Six seconds remaining. To it. Can't keep that in. Three seconds remaining. Last chances here for Central is now Bunn is in. Ah! You love to see it. It's Turner at the back post, who I'm not sure what she finished with there, but they all count, and that's a great way to finish for Central. That was a great ball in from Malbun. And Central will finish the game on a high. 9-2 the final scoreline here. The Pride remain undefeated in this Ford Futsal Super League. That'll do it for the first game this morning. We'll be back at 10 a.m. where Hawks Bay men will take on Southern United men. Until that time, don't go anywhere. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. 
because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range, and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. The stalk represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard, to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. One brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whānau where everyone is welcome.
Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. is coming to the shores of Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana Wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of Wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars. The power of opportunities, Faka Mana. Partnerships, Mana Natahi. Pathways, Ada. And Tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. Welcome back to Main Power Stadium out here in Rangiora for day two of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. Just had the Pride take on Central Women. The Pride coming away 9-2 winners of that game. Next up today, we have Southern United men taking on Hawks Bay. Men, Hawks Bay, well, they'll be looking to see if they can get some points in this competition. And for Southern United, they'll be looking to bounce back after their defeat to Capital in yesterday's late game. My name's Mark Matzis. I'll be calling you through the action coming up for the rest of the day. The players will be getting themselves ready, and we'll see what this game has in store.
Live here at Main Power Stadium for game two of this Southern Series. Game two today between Hawks Bay and Southern United. Hawks Bay beaten twice yesterday. Southern United also getting the job done on the non streamed court. Uh, Hawks Bay's two games today will be streamed. So the United lost to Capital in the second game yesterday, so they'll be looking to bounce back from that 2 0 defeat. See the return of Fraser Hunter. Won't be starting today. Stevenson played exceptionally well yesterday, gets the nod. And Fraser Hunter will be relegated to the bench. Also looks like Juan Tanabe won't be taking the court today. As picked up an injury or a suspension. Not 100% sure. Let's go through the starting lineups today for Hawks Bay, Percy Fish and Gold. Lack, Cousins, Mustafa and Emerson round out the starting five for Southern United. Stevenson in goal. Willett, Wink, Cooper and the standout for Southern United, Hewson. Starting five, Michael Sanham, the captain for Southern United there in centre court with the referees. Anthony Riley and Chris Sinclair today. It's New Zealand's two premier futsal referees. Joined by Don Barry and Charlie Brown. Of course, both Anthony and... Excuse me, Anthony and Chris Sinclair have been to a Futsal World Cup. So fantastic to have them in the ranks. New Zealand players in their huddles. Hawks Bay looks set to go. I'm sure they'll want to come out and make a statement in this game. So they've got a game against the Dragons again later on, 2 p.m. this afternoon. Capital and the Dragons are on court too, so we'll keep you updated with the score. If that does change throughout the game, but the players look set to go here. I'm expecting a tight first five minutes. Southern United. Both Cooper and Houston. It's been a bit of a change this game. And it's a good ball forward here for Cooper as he tries to thread, but it's. That was Lack. Came away with it. Looking good here, but Houston gets in the way of that one as the ball pushed across there for Cousins. From Emerson on the far side will be a kick and Mustafa to get us back underway. Anthony Riley pointing to the spot. Lack. Pressure coming there. And they've won it back, but falls again there for Hawks, mate. Horse Cooper Wink missed the first series. So good to see him out. On the court and in action now. Plays that for Hewson. Good challenge there from Lack. Chance here for Hawks Bay early on. Just running out of space, but Mustafa comes back, clicks it, sends it back as far as Emerson. Shot coming in. Finds the feet there, but it's fallen here for Cooper as he drives now into the half. And Lack does enough there to just push that one away out of court. Energy coming here from Hawks Bay. Inside the first minute. It's an important game here for Southern United. They won't want to be dropping points. Have to play Capital again this afternoon. That'll be a big game. And it's Houston. Far side now for Willett as he dances around Cousins. Plays weak down the line. He can't get around Lack. Will be a kick in on the far side. And there's an early change for Hawks Bay. As Cousins comes for a rest. Houston now can't bring that one under control as Lack just forces him out of court. 
will be a kick in on this near side for Hawks Bay as Mustafa drops for Lack. And Stallard on the court. Good ball forward here for Mustafa from Percy Fish. And the first real goal scoring opportunity for either side now as Houston steps forward, gives it to Willett. But just a heavy pass there. As it's turned over, Black. Willett coming forward on him as forces him out of court on this near side. As we do see another early change as Wink comes off, replaced by Stanley. Cooper, near side for Houston. Back and forward between these two. Chips this one forward for Stanley. As he can't keep that one under control. Out of court, far side. Stallard plays Lack. Near side now for Percy Fish. He takes the space, drives into the half. Can he get the shot away? Does. Slide of the target, though. Got to love a keeper goal. It's Beresford that almost got one yesterday. And there's a good challenge there from Stallard as he comes away with it. Mustafa's inside. Chance here for Hawks Bay. Can they get the shot away? Emerson, he gets a shot. Uh, and it's full on here for Mustafa, who drops it back for Lack or Percy Fish. And it's Lack who sends this one forward. Houston hit on that one. Just out of course. Good passage to play there from Hawks Bay. And it will be a kick in on the far side. Stallard. He can't keep that one in. As Cooper uses Houston. As he steps around Mustafa. That's fallen there for Stanley. Cooper. Go! Fantastic counter work there from Southern United. The ball forward from Houston and Stanley unselfishly gives it to Cooper in the middle, who one on one with the keeper makes no mistake of it. 1 0 for Southern United inside the first three minutes. Hawks Bay will have to bounce back here. Stallard now. Forward for Emerson. Houston now coming forward with it. He'll take a bit of space. As pulled away there. And that'll be the first foul of the half. I'm sure Anthony Riley will keep a close eye on that. But Houston, he's dangerous in space. And it's Willett who will step over. He's got a fantastic shot on him. Does the number two for Southern United. Interested to see if he goes for goal here. Does, looks for that back post. Steps back inside, leaves it behind. And a foul called there. One each now for Southern United as they go quickly. No one's back for Southern United. Falls there for Stevenson. As they settle it down a bit. As coming forward here. And another foul there from Cooper. I think a word from the referee here will be taking place. As we also see Hogg onto the court for the first time, the number 15. And a second foul. We went up early foul against Capital yesterday did Southern United. Four fouls inside the first few minutes. And there's just a bit of water on the court. Elf's go towel out doing its job. They've got a bit of a leak in the roof, so that'll be a looked after spot throughout the day. There's Lack. Looks like he'll set this one up. Similar opportunity. Stevenson forward in the wall. We've got Hogg just sitting off to the left, and Lack will go for goal. And it's off the line there. Chance again. Good save from Stevenson. Initially, Stanley on the post. And then Stevenson got out and got big. Early save for him. Hawks Bay knocking on the door as Hogg will get us back underway. But that's straight at Willett. And it will be another corner as Cooper comes forward on Lack. 
near side for Stallard as he steps inside trying to get round Stanley Emerson drives around but runs out of court and it's out of court on this near side as changes come Herman Cataldi Diaz and Sanum yes Michael Sanum now far side for Diaz as he finds the feet of Carlos Herman as Lack comes forward on him chip forward here for Cataldi as Hogg does enough but it's fallen here for Diaz toes but a little touch there from Stallard no no touch says the referee as they send this one long as a little punch there means it's no okay they have two wrong for me in a row there's Sanum now near side for Cataldi drops it back for Sanum Herman as Lack scores challenge there on Herman no foul call from the referee and he just steps forward into space and just finishes that one expertly and Hawks Bay level it up here 1-1 and we're back underway here they're working hard uh, Hawks Bay Cousins now back onto the court as he drives forward near side for Mustafa Cousins shot away good save there from Stevenson has to catch that one sent long here for Cataldi and foul called by the referee second foul for Hawks Bay and a good shooting position as well here for Southern Sanum sets up over the ball here. Uses Herman. Back across the face of the goal. A little touch there from Hawks, mate. And as Riley steps forward on Sanum. Near side now for Herman. Mustafa working hard on him. Cataldi near side. Centre for Herman. And that's back as far as Stevenson. Oh, they have to start again here. Will Southern United. Sanum pressure coming from Stallard. Full press from Hawks Bay. And as Riley does enough there, forces it out of court. Sent forward here as Mustafa. Big touch from him. He'll be out of court on the far side. Four and a half minutes gone here. 1 1 the scoreline. As Herman. Drops that off for Diaz. Near side for Cataldi. He drops it down the line for Sanum. And a good challenge there from Stallard. Uh, full of beans at the moment, uh, Hawks Bay. And just a late challenge there from Stallard. Didn't have to be made, but they're pressing hard at Hawks Bay. That's the third foul. did get into foul trouble yesterday against Southern United of course when you get to five fouls any foul after that is free kick from that 10 metre mark and it's a good challenge there from Lack and as Percy Fish receives this far side I'd love to see him score a goal uses Lack Big minutes for him so far. Down the line for Mustafa. Centres for Lack. Shot comes in, but wide of the target. Sliding in there was Stallard. They're up for it. Uh, Hawks Bay. Yeah, Stallard comes for a break. Big shift from him. Yeah, Sanum now. Herman for Cataldi. Sanum keeps that one in. Sanum, bit of space for him. Near side for Cataldi, right coming across on him. Falls there for Herman. Chance here for Southern United. Heavy touch. Good save there from Percy Fish. As Mustafa has lacked forward, chips it forward, but that'll be easy for Stevenson. As he goes long for Herman in space. Can he turn? Percy Fish out. And draws the foul there from Herman. 
That's just smart play from the keeper. He's smiling. Soft foul, but still a foul. There's Lack now, near side for Riley. Lack. So was it? Yeah, up for it as well. Just with yesterday's result, I think it was 12 1. They went down to the Dragons. So they'll be looking to bounce back from that. And so far, making Southern United work for this is Lack again. He's making a nuisance of himself. He's through. Good block there from Sanum. And it's Wright who gets a foot in the way. And it goes out of court on the far side. Almost six minutes gone here. 1 1 still the score line. Three fouls each. Catalti near side. Sanum. Herman chips forward here for Diaz. But it's too far. And Percy Fish will get that. Throws here for right. Centres, but Sanum blocks. Still falls here. For Emerson. Is Emerson still working? Chance. It's in. And it's right. Unmarked. And he makes no mistake of this. His change is coming now for Southern United. And Hawks may take the lead. Two goals to one. It's energetic from Hawks Bay at the moment. And Southern United just don't know what to do as Lack again. He's the one coming forward. There's a good challenge from Houston. Forces him out of court on this near side. He's playing well, the number six. Exciting young player. There's far side now for Hogg as he steps back inside. Plays it for Emerson. Far side for Lack, but just a bit off target. And Stanley will get us back underway. Wink, near side for Cooper. And that can't find the feet of Houston. Bit of frustration for Southern United at the moment. Still nil-nil on court two. Almost nine minutes gone there. Tight encounter. There's Wink now. Far side for Percy Fish. He sends that one forward. There's Houston now. Finds the feet of Cooper. Stanley can't get it through. Lack. As Lack forces it out of court. And it will be a kick in on this near side for Southern United. As Stanley finds the feet of Cooper. Far side for Houston. He tries to put that down the line for Stanley, but out of court again. just falling for Hawks Bay at the moment but their intensity is what is making that happen as Percy Fish uses Black who sends it forward I think Cooper probably got a touch on that one nope mm, saying it was Patterson I believe and there's Cooper now Houston trying to get round Hogg there going to be a late challenge there and a card and a silly foul to give away just to not the spot you want to be giving away a foul there's no real defense needed and that's the fourth foul for Hawks Bay and a yellow card showing there for Jet Hogg yeah, Southern United will get us back underway. Chip forward here to Stanley as he tries to head that one around. Percy Fish will leave that. Out of court. They go long. Stellard back onto the court. Full here for Houston. Bit of space for him. Dangerous in this position. Still going as Houston. And another foul there. Dangerous position. And that's the fifth foul for Hawks Bay. And a yellow card being shown for Lack. There's too many of them from Hawks Bay at the moment. So foul trouble with 12 and a half minutes remaining. 
Southern United, three fouls at the moment. That's a long time to not foul. There's Stanley. He sits up over this. This is dangerous range. Going to have to get big here. Wink. Making a nuisance of himself in there. There's Stanley. That's going to go for goal. Dars could save there from Percy Fish. Sends that away. Stevenson will come out and chip that one back forward for Stanley. Can't foul here, can. And it's a good challenge in the end. From Emerson. Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't see no fouls happening. And that'll be a corner here for Southern United. And a yellow card showing there to Emerson. So that's the third yellow card in quick succession here for Hawks Bay. They've got to get their discipline up. It's two players on the court at the moment that have yellow cards. And Southern United look to get us back underway. Centres that, but that's Lack who'll send that one away. Kicking again for Southern United, far side. 12 minutes remaining in this first half. 2-1 in favour of Hawks Bay. Stanley gets a shot in, but blocked there by Stallard. Was in the end. It will be a kick in for Southern United. Wink. He drives down the line. Bit of space for him. Centres the ball. Good save there from Percy Fish. Just parries that one over the crossbar. Too much space there for Wink. We've got to close that one down earlier to Hawks Bay. There's Cooper. Lays it off to Wink again. Shot comes in. Another save there from Percy Fish. Sent away by Lack. And that'll go down as far as Stevenson. He'll pick and roll to Stanley. Far side now for Hewson. Steps into the centre court. Trying to find the feet of oh, Wink there, but a bit too much on the part. And timeout called here by Hawks Bay. Good chance for Southern United to regroup. But with five fouls. Hawks Bay are going to have to think about how they see out this last 11 and a bit minutes. The intensity they've been playing with, that's where those fouls come from. But they do have the lead at the moment. They did push Capital in their second game. Final score Capital coming away with that one, four goals to three after a 6-0 loss the first day. So they do know how to bounce back. And at the moment, Southern United just don't quite have the answer. Update on court two. Still nil-nil there between Capital and the Dragons. Looks to be two fouls for Canterbury and the one for Capital. Keep you posted with that as the day continues. As the timeout expires, will be a kick-in on this near side for Hawks Bay. As we're back underway here, Lack will look to go long again, does so. Good ball forward here. As it's Wink who's driving forward, bit of space for him. Centres, but that's straight to Lack, and Lack will come away with it now. As he runs out of space. As we see also Harry Anderson onto the court. The number two, 15 years old. Goodness me. Good to see youngsters out there as it goes long and Cooper gets ahead to that. Mustafa brings it down nicely. Shot away there, but wide of the target. And Stevenson will roll. Wink now. Chips this one forward for Stanley. Wink again. This is good from Southern United. And it's Lack again who come forward with it. Space for him. Shoots. And it's a block there from Cooper. And it will be a corner ball. He's dangerous when he comes forward. Harry Lack. Yes, here he is again, but heavy touch this time. Always the way, as soon as you praise him. 
do something like that. But, jeez, he's looked electric so far. Stanley now. He can't bring that under control. And it will be a kick in on this near side. 11 minutes remaining here. Hawks Bay lead. Two goals to one. Five fouls, though, for Hawks Bay. Three for Southern United as Lack sends that one towards the goal. They won't call it a shot. As Wink now sends this one forward for Houston, who drops for Stanley. Manages to keep that one in. And good work there from Anderson. Out of court, far side. Kick in for Southern United. Still pressing uh, Hawks Bay. As Houston now. Can't get it around Stallard. And it's out of court. Stanley. Houston. Cooper. Far side for Wink. As he chips it around. Chance to shoot. And goal! Wow! What a finish there! Stanley. That's just fantastic goal for him, Southern United. As Wink on the far side gets into a bit of space round the youngster Anderson and then cuts it back for Stanley who makes no mistake of it in front of goal two all now the scoreline you just wonder if that fifth foul has changed the way that Hawks Bay are thinking about their defense just can't defend with such intensity that they have been as Stallard four down a bit of space gets a shot away that's off the post oh chances at both ends and another shot comes in but it falls there for Stevenson oh goodness me Stanley now a challenge from Cousins and it's out of court chance to catch your breath end to end at the moment Hawks Bay not giving up Cooper pressure coming from Robson as Cousins on this near side. As he drives forward, chips forward, but can't get it past Stanley. Have to be careful in here. And good move here. Chance here for Hawks Bay. And it was Riley who came forward, but good challenge again there from Southern United. Out of court, far side. Cousins, shot comes in. And it's in. Oh, there we go. Stevenson couldn't get enough of it. And it just chips into the back of the net. And Hawks Bay take the lead again. That intensity is working for them. And they're just getting the better of Southern United at the moment. As soon as Southern get back into it. It's just fantastic futsal. Cousins gets in front of Stanley there. Cooper running forward. Chance here for Cooper. And a good block there from Riley, I think it was. And it's out of court on the far side. Corner for Southern United. As Stanley shapes to shoot. Good challenge there. Still there for it. There's... Kick it on this near side. Stanley pushed that one out. Emerson and him battling hard. Cousins looks to send that forward, but can't find the feet. But Robson does get there in the end. Emerson, time for him. Robson back with him. Pushes that one forward. A little touch on the way through. And good work there from Riley to cut that one off. His changes coming now for Southern United. Manikim, Sanum. Diaz ready to come on. Stanley missed the call there, so he's on the court at the moment near side for Manikam as he tries to pick that one past Emerson, but it's out of court on this near side. Nine minutes remaining in this second half. As Stanley drops off for Sanum, shot comes in wide of the target. Emerson. And Hawks Bay find another goal as they try to get around Herman. Falls there for Stevenson. He rolls for Stanley. Bit of space for him. Lack is back there. Shot comes in. Blocked though. And Stanley comes for the break now. Replaced by Diaz. Oh, they've been made to work for it here. Southern United. 
Shows you just can't take any team in this Futsal Super League lightly. Now it's Herman. Can't get around Mustafa there. Almost turned him. Kicking now for Southern United. Herman rolls back. Good work there from Mustafa as he comes away with it. Drives into the half. Emerson, space. Heavy touch and sent away there by Diaz. Wow. Hawks Bay. They really want it here. As yes, Mustafa flicks this one in. Love to see it. This time Stevenson catches that one. Rolls for Manikin. Sends that one forward. Good head there from Emerson. Had to be made. Lack brings that one back. Diaz. It's there. Sent away from Emerson. And Sanam will slow this one down. As he chips it forward for Herman who gets it to Manikin. Herman, one-on-one, -on -one, through the legs of the keeper. Makes no mistake of it. That's the Carlos Herman we know and love. He hasn't been scoring too many goals in the series, but we know he is dangerous in that situation. We're back to 3-3 here. What a fantastic game so far. And it's the Alsko towel back out onto the court. Just to deal with that drip. As Anthony Riley points to the spot. Well, eight minutes remaining here. 3-3 three, three, the scoreline. Still five fouls for Hawks Bay. It's been good since getting to that fifth foul. And they've kept the intensity as well. United scored quickly, but they've always pegged it back. And now Herman drops for Sanum far side. Diaz now. Manikin. And Mustafa. Chance. Go! Every time Southern United peg one back, there's just a little mistake from Southern United. And Hawks Bay are capitalizing on those mistakes. Manikin there. Couldn't bring that under control. And Mustafa says, thanks very much. Goes one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Makes no mistake of it. So Southern United had to come from behind again. It's Mustafa. Leaves that one behind. Emerson tries to flick that one round. Forward now for Diaz. Black is there. Still going as Diaz. Black gets that one. Falls for Mustafa. Advantage being played here by the referee. Will be a rolling foul. And the next play, as we let that one go out, and the foul will be called here. Fourth foul for Southern United. So, Southern United starting to get into foul trouble. As Hawks Bay, just any mistake that Southern are making, they're making them pay for it. As Emerson puts that one across the face of the goal for right. And the press coming again here from Hawks Bay. Their tails are up. Yes, long for Herman. As Lack gets onto that one, and that's sent. Towards the commentary box. Kick in now. Sanum flicks that one forward. Black again, equal to it. He's played well today. They really want this to Hawks Bay as Herman can't get around Lack. And Diaz still going. Diaz on the ground, still there as Lack will send that one away. Far side now for Emerson. Chance for him. Mustafa coming with him. Good tackle there from Manikin. Overlap here for Southern United. Good save there from Percy Fish. And it's Lack now who'll come away with it. Near side for right. Heavy touch from him, no harm done. Mustafa lays for Cousins, shot blocked by Manikin. Still going here as right as he tries to find a little way through. And six minutes, 15 remaining. 4 3 in favour of Hawks Bay.
Nil nil on court two. Uh, Stanley, good touch from him. Lack. And that's just a bit too easy there for <laughs> Benjamin Stanley. But you could see the way that Lack was defending there. In the back of his mind, he knew he was on a yellow card as well as the five fouls. Just harder to really push it in, and Stanley just rolls him. But this is where it's dangerous for Southern United. Hawks Bay have been pouncing on it any time Southern United have got back level. So let's see what happens here. As Cousins with a bit of pressure coming from him and sends that cross court. This mannequin drops for Sanum. Chip forward here. Lack forward. Right. In a bit of space. Sanum coming forward on him. Forces the error out of court. Near side. Five minutes, 55 remaining. Four all the scoreline. Five fouls for Hawks Bay. Four for Southern United. But it's Hawks Bay who seem to be able to get in front. And Southern United are chasing this game at the moment. As Sanum chips this one forward. No one there, though. And Lack will let that one roll out. As Percy Fish sends this one long for... Is that Peterson? Patterson, correction. And Stanley now in a bit of space as he runs forward towards Lack. This time, another shot and blocked from Lack. Good defending from him. Sanum uses Stanley as he tries to find a way through. Sanum has a shot blocked there by Wright. Out of court near side. Five and a half minutes remaining. Sanum, bit of space. Shoots a good save there from Percy Fish. And looking at court two. Our second remaining there. Nilo into the first half as DS now tries to get around Cousins. Can't do so. So it is half time on court two. Nil nil is the scoreline there. We've still got five and a half minutes on this court. As Manikam in a bit of space drops back for Sanum. Stanley. Pressure coming now from Hawks Bay. And it's Lack again. Who does the damage? As Diaz comes for a bait, uh, break, will it onto the court? I'll tell you what, they deserve it at the moment, Hawks Bay. As that one just sent straight towards Stanley, just turns the body out of court near side. Stellard getting us back underway. Lack drives the shot, blocked by Southern United. But it will be a kick in on the far side. And there's Cooper back onto the court. We see Houston there as well. Chance to shoot. And traffic in the way as Stanley sends that one away. Really putting the pressure on. Uh, Hawks Bay. There's Hogg back onto the court for Hawks Bay as well. As Percy Fish throws this one long for Hogg, who can't get enough of it. And they'll roll along here for Stanley in a bit of space. Slack will come forward on him. What can Stanley do here? As he tries to find the feet far side of Houston, but it's Hogg who comes away with it, and that one will go down as far as Stevenson, who drops for Willett. He sends that one forward for Stanley. Hogg on him. Centres, but no one there for Southern United. That's the right ball. That's where they've been scoring the goals in this game, Southern United. But Cooper couldn't get there fast enough, and Hawks Bay survive. The energy they've brought to this game. How long can they keep it going for as Percy Fish throws long here? But it falls for Stevenson. Patterson couldn't bring that one under control. Stanley now. Numbers back for Hawks Bay. They have to recycle here. Will Southern United. As a shot comes in, a chance. And it's in. Stanley. Southern United 
in the lead, five goals to four. I think Percy Fish just couldn't hold on to that one. And it fell there for Stanley, who pokes it home. And tell his friends it was an absolute screamer. And a simple tap in in the end. As Stallard tries to push that one past Houston, but out of court on this near side. Kick in for Riley. Finds the feet of Hogg, but Willett will come away with it. And it's Lack again, who's on the ground. As Riley holds it up nicely. Back to Lack. Finds the feet of Riley again, and a foul there for Houston. And that's the fifth foul for Southern United. Both sides on five fouls. This will make it interesting for the last four minutes. Of course, like any player, they cannot believe they've given away a foul. As Houston argues his case. And Lack, he's dangerous from this range. There's Hogg making a nuisance of himself in front of goal. Lack shoots, but that's high and wide. As Houston has a little chat to him. As Houston now. Just haven't been trying to really draw the foul. Has Southern United as a good ball forward for Cooper, but he just can't quite get to it. I think Riley did enough there to put the run of Cooper off. Three minutes, 48 remaining in this first half. 5-4 the scoreline in favour of oh, Southern United. It's been a seesaw. There's Lack now. Just walking this one forward. As he chips it in. And a chance falls for Stevenson. Who rolls for Houston. And he steps inside. Bit of room for him to come forward now. And that's a foul there from Stanley. And they'll go to the line here. Will Hawks Bay. Stevenson had one yesterday against Capital and he saved it. So an opportunity here. Just a silly foul again from Stanley. And Lack. Chance to tie things back up. Stevenson. Lack versus Stevenson. As Lack. He'll go for power. And it's off the woodwork. Wow. <laughs> what an opportunity there. And Southern United survive. With three and a half minutes remaining, you'd think there'll probably be a few more of those in this half. There's a chance here for Houston. There's good challenge in there, and Lack has to see that one out. And it is out. Kick in far side for Southern United. Stanley wide of the target. As Percy Fish drops for Lack. That long ball again. Mustafa heads but wide of the target. They've kept trying that long ball. As Willett now, he drives forward. Trying to find the feet of Stanley, but it's Lack who leaves that one behind. Chance here for Southern United. And Cooper can't keep that one in. Good work from Percy Fish as he drops it short for Lack. Press coming. From Southern United. As Mustafa, a bit of space for him. Keeps it in. But it falls for Stevenson. He throws long here for Stanley. Two on one here. And has to be saved there from Percy Fish. As Mustafa now in a bit of space. It's end to end at the moment. Good challenge there from. And another foul for Southern United. Houston can't believe it. As Riley draws the foul. And they'll go to the line again here. Will Hawks Bay. Another chance for Lack. Of course, you do get the option of where you want to take it from. So he's going to take it from... So, if you basically still have to be out of the way of the shot on goal. And it's still 1v1 with the, the keeper. But you don't have to take it from the mark. 
There's Lack. He'll step it up and try from a different angle. Just have a powerful boot. Can Stevenson save another one? As Lack picks a spot and scores. And there we go. We're back to five all here. Hawks Bay have been in foul trouble for almost 10 minutes now and haven't sent Southern United to the line. Southern United, two fouls now. One converted, one saved. But Hawks Bay, well, they're rattling them. There's Stanley. Chance to shoot. Does good save from Percy Fish. Just gets big in front of the face of the goal there and forces it out on the far side for a kick in. Chance now for Willett to shoot. Blocked there from Riley. Will be another kick in for Southern United. As Willett lines up, slaps the shot in, blocked again. It's Riley for the second time. And this time it's a corner for Southern United. Centered, but falls there for Stallard and another foul. And another opportunity for Hawks Bay to go to the line as Cooper just ran into the back of Stallard there. And Lack again will step up to the mark as soon as Southern United take the lead. They just seem to be letting Hawks Bay back into this one. So, Black again versus Stevenson, this time from the mark. He's scored one from a different angle, and this time he places it on the mark. Black versus Stevenson. Black goes for power again, but it's straight at Stevenson. And another good save from the youngster. Remains five all here, two and a half minutes remaining. As a shot comes in, and it's just wide of the target there from Lack. Well, what can Southern United do here? Hawks Bay playing the five fouls exceptionally well and drawing the fouls constantly. As Sanham now drops for Cattelty. Manikam. Cattelty again down the line here for Sanham. Lack coming forward on him. Sanham can turn. Tries to go through the legs. Percy Fish will keep that one in. Turned over here for Hawks Bay. Throw in forward. Headed on target. As he rolls for Sanham. Sanham, bit of space. Goes for goal, but it's wide off the target. Oh, just under two minutes remaining here in this first half. 5-5 five, five the scoreline. It has been an absolute seesaw of a match so far. And as Percy Fish throws long, but Cattelty gets a hit on that one. Out of court, far side. Kick in for Hawks Bay. There's a youngster. Tries to get around Diaz and sends that one away. I think that will be kept in there by Percy Fish. He drops for Lack. Stepping forward is Sanum. Far side now for Anderson. Finds the feet of Mustafa, but it's turned over here for Southern United. And Sanum will run forward into the half. As he just rolls that past Mustafa. Gets the shot away and a good save in the end there by Percy Fish. Almost foul there for Manikin. But sent long and... Tauti will just let that one go and Hawks Bay survive. Diaz drops back for Cataldi. He goes long here for Sanum, who keeps it under control. Drops here for Diaz, but great work there from Anderson. Just tracking across and clears that one out of court on this near side. Kick in for Southern United. One minute, 11 remaining. Sanum drops back here for Cataldi. Shot comes in, but it's wide off the target. And Hawks Bay survive again. Just such a great example of momentum in a game of futsal. 
And there's a chance here for Hawks Bay again. Anderson, what can he do from here? Can he draw the foul? Near side for Mustafa. As he steps around, Cataldi gets a shot in, but blocked. And Stevenson does well to keep it in. And it's blocked there by Mustafa. Out of court for a goal line clearance. Still nil-nil on court one. Michael Sanham drops here for Cataldi. Shot comes in, but blocked there by Lack, and He's done well. Won the kick in. 47 seconds remaining here. And if this was the first half, goodness me. Who knows what the second half will bring. As Lack now just walks forward. Sanham steps forward on him. Far side now for right. Lack again. Goes long. Mannequin first to it, but can't get the head in the direction he wanted. Out of court, far side. As Anderson get us back underway. 34 seconds remaining. Anderson. Chips it across, almost there for right. But it will be a kick in for Hawks Bay again. Still time on the clock for either side, really. There's Anderson. That may have been just off the line a bit. And referee Chris Sinclair blows them back. And it will be a kick in for Southern United. There's Cataldi now, sends this one forward for Sanham too long. And easy pickings for Percy Fish. He rolls for right, far side. Mustafa. Bit of space for him. Uses Anderson. Still going as Anderson gets the shot away, but blocked there, and it'll full force Sanham. He'll use Manikin. And Southern United, five seconds to go. What can they come up with? As Manikin drives down the line. Uses Diaz, just a little bit behind him. And that'll do it for the first half. What a first half at that. Five goals each between Hawks Bay and Southern United. And we'll take that chance for a breather. We'll be back here in five minutes. Don't go anywhere. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. We are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be.
Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. Stadium for day two of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. Five all at half time between Hawks Bay and Southern United. Some first half, that's for sure. Hawks Bay always creeping in front. Southern United getting back into it and then finally getting ahead before Hawks Bay pegged it back. Well, that's probably a fair representation of how the scoreline should be as Darren Hart messaged me to say that game good for the neutral but bad for the futsal purist it was end to end as we do see Fraser Hunter back into goal for Southern United and the teams look ready to go referees are in position Still nil-nil on court two. Almost nine minutes gone on that second half. And we're underway here. Let's see what this second half has in store. That was a end-to-end. -end. Both teams ending up with five fouls. Hawks Bay for the majority of the half and didn't. There's a chance here for Stanley as he unselfishly looks for Wink. And maybe the shot was on there and the Hawks Bay side will start again. As Emerson leaves for Lack. As Hunter, his first touch. As Cooper now. Press still coming here from Hawks Bay. Chip forward. Stanley trying to get it around Lack. Can't do so. And falls for Mustafa, who's been a space down the line. Gets the shot away. Deflection. But easy for Fraser Hunter. And that will be a foul there against Wink. His cousins, well, he ended up on the ground. This calls it as a chance here for Cooper. Falls for Wink. Stanley can't get around. Lack. As Mustafa comes away with it. He's looked electric as well. Cousins. Far side now for Emerson. Looks for the feet of Mustafa. As Hunter will just let that one go out. Stanley now flicks down the line here for Houston. Heavy touch from him. And I think a little touch there. No, nope. they're saying it was already out. Referee Chris Sinclair explaining his decision there to Houston, who mutters in disbelief. As Hawks Bay now go long. Mustafa manages to turn, drops for Emerson. Black near side for Stallard. He comes forward on Houston, finds the feet of Emerson. Drop back chance. That left behind there. And Houston, well, he's done well there as he drives forward. Drops for Stanley. Still going. Oh, what a save! Wow! 
some save there from Percy Fish. What a move from Southern United and what a save from Percy Fish. Just textbook goalkeeping there. And Stanley tries to flick that one behind his legs. And it's Hawks Bay now who come. Centres, chance wide of the target. Wow. It is end to end at the moment at the main power stadium. This forward futsal Super League. So I don't know if we've really had as tight a tussle in the men's competition. There's a chance here for Wink. And he's still going as Wink. Good challenge there on the ground from Riley. It was as Lack coming forward now into the half. Trying to find the feet there. Falls for Wink again. He'll chip forward here for Stanley. Stanley trying to find a bit of space. He's already got a few today. And just drops that back for Cooper. And they'll slow it down here. Will Southern United as Wink uses Houston into their rotations. And Southern United. Cooper chance. One on one. Go! And Southern United take the lead. But how long can they hang on for? That's the big question here. Every time they've got one in front, Hawks Bay have pegged their way back into it. Let's see what they can do here. Lack takes a break. He's been running like a gazelle out there. There's the number six. As Houston now in a bit of space. As a big lunging challenge there from Cousins. And it is a rolling foul, so that will be the second foul there for Hawks Bay. Advantage played by the referee. And we're out for a corner. Lucky didn't catch him there. So I think there would have been a little bit more trouble than just a foul if he did. And Stanley will get us back underway. Drops back for Houston. Bit of space for him. Gets a shot away, but collected there by Percy Fish as he throws long here for Stallard. Touched there by Houston, but drops back for Riley. Cousins now. Far side for Riley. Hawks base turn. Good work there, but it's fallen for Houston. 2 on 1 here for Southern United. Houston. Good save again from Percy Fish. He's been called on a couple of times at the start of this second half. There's Wink. That's the side netting. Percy Fish had that one covered. As he throws long again, but Houston hits that one. Falls here for Cooper as he tries to go through the feet of Cousins. Falls there, still going as Cooper. And foul call by referee. First foul there for Southern United in this half. There's Emerson. Dancing around in the middle of the court. There's Stallard. As both players end up on the ground, but no foul called from the referees. Wink to take the kick in for Southern United. Well, almost four minutes gone in the second half. Southern United leads six goals to four. As Cooper can't keep that one under control. Out of court near side. Hawks Bay, their turn now. Emerson. Drops for Stallard back again. Far side for Cousins. Finds the feet of Stallard. This is good from Hawks Bay. Riley now. He finds the feet of Emerson, but just a heavy touch from him. Leaves it behind, but Stanley sends that one away. It's out of court. Lacks back into the action. Wasn't gone for long. I suppose if Adam Cowan's no longer playing, someone from this region has to play the big minutes. There's near side for Percy Fish. Love to see him score a goal. There's Emerson now. Forward there for him. Still going as Emerson. Fraser Hunter will capture that one. Rolls for Houston. As he drives into the half. Bit of space for him. Still going as Houston. As Lack again. Sliding in this time. He seems to have felt that one. 
As Southern United make changes. Catalti, Manikam, Diaz and Sanum onto the court. Just wonder how much Southern United are missing Wantanabe. He seemed to be their goal scorer in the big situations. And as Cataldi can't bring that one under control. Chance here for Hawksbay coming forward to Stella. Gets the shot away. Blocked there from Cataldi. And it's out of court on this near side for a Hawksbay kick in. Stella drops down the line for Riley as Diaz ends up on the ground. Still going as Stella. Double team coming now. What can he do? Wins the corner. Almost five minutes gone in the second half. 6-5 the scoreline in favour of Southern United. Hawks Bay still knocking on the door though. As Lack now uses Stallard. There's a heavy touch there from Patterson. Good work there from Riley as he comes charging in. But can't win the kick in. And it's Anthony Riley. And it's Manikam goes long here for Sanum. He brings that under control. Has Lack, tries to get round him. Lack does well, wins the kick in. No. Sanum thought he'd had it. It will be a kick in for Hawks Bay. There's Lack now. Riley on the far side. Uses Lack again. You feel like there's still a few twists and turns left in this game. There's left behind there, Manikin. He'll get hold of it. Uses DS. Chance for him to turn. Riley charging back though, and Hawks Bay are back behind the ball. Good word defense from them. Coming forward now is Hogg. As he leaves the ball behind. As Hunter goes long for Manikin. And his head. Can't keep it in. And as a shot comes in, but it's wide off the target. Patelty, Manikim sends that one forward. And as Percy Fish sends long, Diaz gets the head to it. Hog comes forward, but Sanim will hold on to that one. On a yellow, of course. Patelty drops back for Manikim. As Riley does enough to get a foot on that, drops it back for Lack, and they'll start again here. Will Hawks Bay near side for Hog? I'd say almost a little less frantic. In the second half so far, as that one forward, as Hunter catches, sends it long for Sanum. Sanum turns as Lack steps forward on him, hits the challenge in, and it's out of court on the far side. Manikim, Diaz. Manikim still going, better space for him. Can he drive the shot on? Uses Kitalti, and he has to force that back as far as Hunter. Diaz now. As he sends that forward, Lack does enough. Gets it round for Percy Fish. Chance for Hawks Bay at the other end. Mustafa now. He just pushes it a little bit too far in front of himself. And Kutalti does well there to block the cross. Almost seven minutes gone here in the second half. Southern United lead six goals to five. Still nil-nil on court two. As shot comes in, but it's... High of the target. And it'll roll down as far as halfway before sent back. And a lucky fan. And Hunter will get us back underway. Goes long here for Sanum. What can he do with Lack? Double team coming now. Can he get the ball in the centre straight to Percy Fish? And they charge forward. As Diaz hits that one for Sanum. Manikim now. Cataldi finds Diaz. Drops it back for Cataldi. Far side. As Sanum. Can he roll? Black. 
Plays it off. Centered. Chance, but sent away. Good opportunity there for Southern United, but good defence from Hawks Bay. As Diaz sends that in. Cataldi miss it as it's fired away. Subs coming now for Southern United. Houston, Cooper, Willett and Stanley onto the court for Southern United. Coach O'Farrell sticking with similar things. There's a good move there from Houston. Still going as Houston. Can he get the shot away? Good work there from, I think it was Anderson. Coming through to clear that one away. As well, it shot comes, still in here. Houston drops for Stanley. It's getting a bit caught up at the moment of Southern United. Will it? Far side for Cooper. Uses Houston. Hogg comes forward on him as Houston tries to play that down the line for Stanley. And this changes all round except for Lack. I don't know what he can score in a beep test. There's. Robson. Far side now for Mustafa. He tries to find the feet of Emerson. But it's out of court. And Southern United will start again. And Fraser Hunter as he flows long. And throws that to Percy Fish. As Mustafa. Challenge coming there from Willett. Out of court, far side, kick in for Hawks Bay. And Zlack does come off now. And replaced by Cousins. Houston flicks forward here for Stanley. Stanley still going, chance one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he finish? Yes, he can. And he gets a bit of a whack in the back of the head at the end of the goal there. But Southern United, two goals up now. Can they hold this lead? The first time we've seen more than a one-goal lead in this game. And it's Southern United leading seven goals to five. Very different half of futsal. At five fouls for Hawks Bay by this time as a shot comes in. Safe there from Hunter as he rolls for Stanley. And a foul there. Yep. On Stanley in centre court. That's the third foul there for Hawks Bay. As we have to get the Elsko towel back onto the court to deal with the drip from the ceiling. Ah, great technique there from the referee. That's what those Elsko towels are made for. As Houston gets us back underway, far side for Cooper. He flicks down the line for Stanley. H Cooper still going. Chance here for Willett. If he can get the shot away, still going as Willett. Shot. Oh, it's low, but wide of the target. Found the shooting channel there. Cousins now. He drives forward. Flicks that one as far as Emerson. Chance. Goal! Great work there from the target up top. He makes no mistake. Turns Houston and pegs it back to a one-goal lead here for Southern United. 13 goals already in this game. Making up for the lack of goals on court two. Still nil-nil over there with just under four minutes remaining. As Emerson. This time it's a good challenge and Hunter gets there. And Houston will come away with it. Driving forward as Houston. Still going as Houston. As a foul there for Cousins. And... As a couple of words there from the referee and a yellow show into Cousins now. 
So there's a few people on yellow cards now for Hawks Bay. And just like any player, they can't believe it. Fourth foul, I think, for Hawks Bay. Just the one for Southern United at the moment. Well, they did do well when they got to five fouls in the last game. Yeah, that is confirmed. Fourth foul. There's Willett now. I've seen him hit a ball. It'll be interesting to see what he does here. He goes for goal. Oh, goes for Stanley, in fact, who can't get enough of it. And Hawks Bay survive. There's Cousins now. Chips forward. Straight to Willett. Stanley, he turns. Willett. Can he find a shooting channel? Does. And it's touched there from Cousins. Will be a corner. 10 minutes, 25 remaining. 7-6 in favour of Southern United. Willett. Back to Stanley. Cooper. Stanley. Good save there from... The keeper, Percy Fish, as it's turned over again here by Southern United. Stanley in a bit of space, steps inside, shot, goal! Stanley is on fire today. And if you give him that channel, he'll take it and makes no mistake of it. 8-6 now, the scoreline with 10 minutes remaining. Hawks Bay have not failed to answer back. Jeez, this reminds me of a few of the classic central Southern United encounters over the years. Not really 10-11 was one of my favourites. As Houston going now, steps inside and another goal there. It's Stanley again. He can't stop scoring them at the moment. But Southern United out to a three-goal lead now. Just switching off a little bit there at Hawks Bay. And there's two quick goals. Well, what can Hawks Bay do from here? And there's Lack near side for Emerson. As he loses out, kept in here. Chance for Southern United. Shot comes in, and it's saved through the legs there by Percy Fish. Jeez. Just happening a bit there for Southern United as Emerson does well. He's strong, that man. Does turn. Far side now. Oh, across the face of the goal there from Anderson. No one arriving for Hawks Bay. Hawks Bay 6, Southern United 9. Nine and a half minutes remaining here. Some encounter. As it's sent long by Fraser Hunter. Just throwing it back to the other keeper, Percy Fish. As he drops for Lack. Far side now for Anderson. Uses right. Back to Anderson. A mistake there as Houston jumps on it. He's got Stanley on the side. Goes round. Can he find Stanley in the middle? Good work there from Anderson. The youngster sliding in at exceptional timing. Wow. Hawks Bay survive as Sanham on to the court, replacing Houston. There's Stanley now. Plays Willett into a bit of space. Rolls inside one. Can he get the shot away? Still going. Good battle there between Wright and him. And he's still going. Uses Stanley. As Lack comes away with it. Finds Wright unmarked. Anderson. Lack. This is better from Hawks Bay. Far side now for Emerson. Anderson there with Fraser Hunter, but Hunter gets on the loose ball. Still nil-nil on court two. As Willett caught up centres, but Percy Fish is there. And just finds Lack, drops it to him. As subs are made here, Emerson comes for a bake. Stallard replaces him. Anderson now. Trying to find the feet there of Stallard. It's Cooper coming forward now. Drops for Willett. And a good challenge there from Wright. Out of court on this near side. A minute remaining on court two. Nil-nil. As Manikin now onto the court. Wink far side two. 
Willett gets around right, still going as Willett. Centres and Sanum. To be fair, had a chance for a goal there. As it sounds like there's a goal on court two. I have to wait for the scoreboard to update. Uh, the crowd was quiet, so I'm assuming it's a capital goal. As Manikam gets us back underway. Wink. Far side now for Diaz. He steps in through Bart. It's to Riley, and he drives forward now into the half. Good run from him, but Diaz puts it to eight. No, it's just maybe a foul. No goal update. And 40 odd seconds remaining there. Nelson get a nil nil in futsal. Uh, Stella drives the shot, but wide off the target. There's Hunter. He'll throw long for Sanum. Holds that up nicely. Drops back for Manikam. It's game management now for Southern United. Three goals to the good. Hawks Bay have to be the ones that play. And a good challenge there from Stellard as he comes forward now, driving into the half, but just can't find the feet of any other players, and it's turned over. Diaz now. Sanum. Far side for Manikin. Flick down the line, but uh, it's sent away there by Stellard. Calls of handball. Not called by the referee. Twists and turns does this game have left in it? Seven minutes, 15 remaining. 9-6 in favour of Southern United. Four fouls for Hawks Bay. One for Southern United as Sanum trying to turn lack there. Wink. Far side for Diaz. Sanum. Trying to get round lack. Still working is Sanum. Back as far as Diaz. Sanum. Looks at, get it round Lack, but it's fallen there for Hogg. He does well to see this out. And it's out of court, I believe. Manikam. Down the line for Sanum. Lack heavily involved over there. Has to come back as far as Diaz. Hogg puts in a block there. Good work there from Salad. Coming forward now. Chance. Good save from Hunter. Had to be made there. Hunter just parries that one over the crossbar. And Hawks Bay, can they get a chance here at Sanum? That clears that one away from the run of Lack. Out of court on this near side. Kick in Hawks Bay. Six and a half minutes remaining. Five seconds remaining on court two. Shows the difference of a stop clock, doesn't it? Time the ball is in play. And it's cleared away there by Wink. Maybe a kick in on the far side. Canterbury on to five fouls with four seconds remaining. As Cousins comes near side for Percy Fish. Bit of space for him. I'd like to see him have a drive. He's going to. And Hunter, good save there, had to be made. That's a nice angle there. to get us back underway with the corner. Drops here, but it's... Cousins is on the ground, complaining. As he looks to the referee, nothing cool, though. Stella still going, and it's blocked there by Sanum. And still having the word as Cousins. He is on a yellow card. Got to be careful of that. There's that one. Towed away. High of the target. There's Wink. Comes for Diaz. Pressure coming now from Hogg, but Diaz does well. Uses Manikam. Press coming from Hawks Bay and forces the error of Manikam out of court on the far side. Chance here for 
Hawks Bay, but it's come away with weak Sanum now in a bit of space. Going is Sanum. Uh, he can't get it past. Hold on for Cousins. As Canterbury. Possibly have won the game next door, scoring. It says 2-0, but it wasn't <laughs> nil-nil moments ago. I'll have to get confirmation of that one. As Manikin puts a block to that as Sanum steps forward now. Manikin, near side for Diaz. Heavy touch from him, but Holt not close enough on him. Manikin. Down the line here for Diaz in a bit of space. Can he get round Riley? Does so, Sanum. Still going. Oh, golden opportunity there for Sanum. And Stallard will come forward with it as he tries to get around Wink. This is good work from Stallard. Good work from Wink. Going forward is Wink now. He's got Cousins, but still going is Wink. But Cousins eventually gets it and just toes that one away to Manikim. Just under five minutes remaining here. 9-6 the scoreline in favour of Southern United as Cousins sends that one away for Hogg in a bit of space. He drives forward. Mannequin's there. But it's wide of the target. Well, that's the score was actually 2-0 to Capital in the end. So he hadn't updated the scoreboard properly. Apologies for that. There's that one. Rolls out of court on this near side. Kick in for Southern United. As Diaz is taking a chance to catch his breath. As Houston back onto the court. Good challenge there from Hogg it was. There's changes coming now. Tealty. Will it? Bit of pressure there. Emerson, he's dangerous from this range. Emerson. Across the face of the goal. No one there. And it's out of court. Will be a Southern United ball. 420 remaining here. And it's good interception there from Riley as he drives forward. Good challenge there from Houston, though. Still going. Great work. Houston comes away with it. Tries to find the feet. It's going to be Percy Fish who does it away. Nice little touch there from Lack. Bolly. Oh, what a save from Hunter. As he just pushes that one onto its crossbar. Just leaning back. Some save there from Hunter. And a timeout called here by Hawks Bay. Wow. There we go. As we can see, the Alsco towel coming back out onto the court. Hawks Bay just haven't been able to get that same momentum they had in the first half. But still anyone's game. You know how quickly things can change with just one goal. And it will be a kick in on the far side for Hawks Bay. Four minutes remaining here. Nine goals for Southern, six goals for Hawks Bay. Lack, near side for Percy Fish. Looks like they're playing fifth man now. Uh, Hawks Bay. There's a chance here for Southern United. Uh, this is nice work here, chance. Still going, Stanley. Back inside, good block. Great work, they've got to get back here to Southern United. Chance, Emerson, no. Houston reads that one. And going forward, good challenge there from Lack. But it's back again for Southern United. End to end at the moment as the shot comes in. And off the crossbar from Willett. 
Good power in that. Of course, next up here at 12 o'clock, we see Southern United Women taking on Central Women. Finished one all yesterday, so I'm sure that'll be just as exciting as this as a chance for Hawks Bay. Cleared away there by Willett, who is on the ground. And definitely in fifth man, as we can see Percy Fish sitting high. Love to see him get on the score sheet. As a shot comes in, cleared away there by Catelti, I think it was, in the end. And it will be a corner here as Emerson steps inside, but Houston drives away with a chance for him. No one in the goal. And a great challenge there from Percy Fish. Rather than getting back into his goal, he goes for glory. Yeah, it's good press coming now as we see Cooper back onto the court replacing Willett. Three minutes remaining here. 9-6, still the scoreline. Near side for Percy Fish. Stallard. Percy Fish back for Lack. Stallard. Shot coming. Hewson. He'll go for goal. And it's just wide of the target. Of course, they are playing fifth man, so the goalkeeper is out of position. It's good to see a goalkeeper moving into that fifth man position. And that's two touch there. Unlucky there as he tried to wait for it. But it just didn't roll across the line yet. Uh, not a dangerous position for a two touch, but of course the keeper has to get over halfway if they want to be able to touch it for a second time. No harm done really, other than the turnover. And uh, sent forward for Stanley, who does well to keep this one in. Numbers coming forward now for Southern United. Uh, Scatalti just leaves that one. And it will be out for a kick in on this near side. Two minutes, 24 remaining here. Can Hawks Bay find a way back into this game? And there's a challenge comes in there from Stanley. On Lack, out of court, far side. Kick in for Hawks Bay. As Percy Fish gets into position. Far side for him. As chance here for Stellard. He's away. As Hunter does enough and sent away there by Southern United out of court for a kick and good opportunity there for Hawks Bay as Lack uses Percy Fish far side, Salad now gets the shot away, chance to shoot here for Stanley, goes for goal, Lack got ahead and does well there great work there from Lack he's had a good game big on defence electric on attack but at the moment Hawks Bay just haven't been able to find that same momentum they had in the first half as Mustafa drives forward there on Houston. Cooper and him happy to play it round at the back and they send it forward for Stanley but he can't bring it under control so they'll try again here will Hawks Bay with a minute 45 remaining Mustafa far side steps over, drives down the line, Houston Lack's going to come across, does so and it'll be out of court there for a kick in for Hawks Bay Near side now for Percy Fish. Back for Lack. Good ball movement from Hawks Bay. Stallard. Here's that opening shot. But wide of the target there from Percy Fish. That's great movement there from Hawks Bay. There's Houston now. Down the line for Stanley. He'll try and turn Lack. Looks to get it across. There's the thing. Lack just got a little bit caught there as he the shot came in. It was a good block from him, though. As he'll hobble to the sideline and is replaced by Cousins. One minute, 16 remaining here. 9-6, still the scoreline as Houston steps back inside. Bit of room for him. Gets a shot away, and it's just wide of the target there. Say so Percy Fish would have had that one covered. As he drops four Cousins. Near side now for Patterson. 
Cousins. Percy Fish. Houston, wide of the target again. It's two attempts for him. It's the danger of playing fifth man as they take it quickly again into the last minute now of this game. What can Hawks Bay do? Far side for Percy Fish. Patterson opens up for him but blocked. Mustafa, he goes. Can he find us some space? And it's out of court. Far side kicking for Southern United. Cataldi sends this one forward for Stanley. Can he get the turn? Drops it back here for Cataldi, but Mustafa's there and a foul call on him with 38 seconds remaining. Second foul of the day, or the second half there for Southern United. No real foul trouble. Patterson drops for Cousins, who leaves it behind. And manages to drag that one in. Chalk it up as saving one off the line for Cousins as he goes long, but straight to Cataldi. Falls for Stellard in the end, who puts it across the face of the goal. 19 seconds remaining. Well, that first half, five all at half time. Southern United have managed to just see this one out, really. Uh, Stanley tries to get up for that one. 15 seconds remaining. Percy Fish goes long for Mustafa. It's Cooper that gets a hit on it. Uh, as Houston goes for goal, but Percy Fish is back in there. The one he does get on target is the wrong time to do it. Uh, Stanley now, can he get one? And that'll do it. Some game here at Main Power Stadium. Southern United come away with it. Nine goals to six in an entertaining game. It was anyone's game at half time, but Southern United pulled away in that second half. And they'll take the three points. We'll take that opportunity for a break. We'll be back here at 12 o'clock. Kickoff between Central Woman and Southern United Woman. Until then, don't go anywhere. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leaving the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. The stalk represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard, to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. One brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whānau where everyone is welcome.
Cuisine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. is coming to the shores of Aotearoa New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars. The power of opportunities, whaka mana. Partnerships, mana natahi. Pathways, ara. And tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. Welcome back to Main Power Stadium out here in Rangiora for day two of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. What a game we've just had between Southern United and Hawke's Bay Futsal. Five all at half time, and Southern United got the job done to take the win, nine goals to six. Next up, we have the Southern United woman taking on the Central woman. I'm sure it was an entertaining game yesterday as it finished one all. So let's hope to see more of that. My name's Mark Matsis and I'll be taking you through the action. As the players get ready, we'll join you shortly from the sideline.
live here at Main Power Stadium. It was Ford Futsal Super League game three? Ormond's action between Central and Southern United Women starting lineups for both sides. Central Sophie Walker and goal, Cleo Harding, Green Smith and Linden. For Southern United, it's Simmers and Goal, Des Fountain, Northern, Nielsen and McCarthy. Fascinating game last night. One all was the scoreline. Talking to both teams, though, they felt they could have won it. So we'll see what we've got in store for today. Of course, Capital taking on the Pride on court two. So we'll keep you posted with that as this game proceeds. As Cleo Harding getting into their rotational work. Smith, far side for Linden. There's a good challenge there from Northern. Still going here. Our central though, shot coming in, and that's wide of the target there from Green. First chance for either side as Simmers throws long here, trying to find the feet of Nielsen. Brings that one in, but brought under control there by Cleo Harding. As she ends up on the deck, but still moving forward here, and a foul is called eventually by the referee. As we are going back to the spot, first foul of the game. And it will be Cleo Harding to get us back underway. Uses green. Both sides just trying to Almost suss each other out at the moment as the ball for Linden came through there. But she just can't quite bring that one in. It's out of court on this near side. Kick in for Southern United. As Jess Fountain will use McCarthy as she sends that one long. Northern, good touch from her. Drops it off for Nielsen. And had to be made there from Smith. As Walker picks it up and sends it long here for... Cleo Harding as she walks across the court. Brings that under control, drops it back. Far side now for Smith. Sends that forward. Heavy touch there from Green, but cleared away by Nielsen. Now to court, just on halfway. And it looks like Capital have gone up one goal to nil. Against the Pride. Good start for them. What's the Pride at the moment? The only unbeaten side. And the women's teams that have played. As McCarthy challenges there and wins the kick in on the far side. Well, both of these teams got their first point last night. But the good thing for Southern United is that they've started scoring some goals. Although they went down to Capital this morning. That one was 4-2. So they got on the score sheet a couple of times as that ball comes in and cleared away there by Smith. Will be a corner for Southern United. But I'll grow into this competition, I'm sure, as McCarthy has a shot, but just chips it a little bit too much, and it's high of the target. And Walker will roll far side for Green. As she comes forward, straight to Northern. Chance for Northern to shoot, but easy there for Walker. There's it's Smith who sends that one long. McCarthy there, good touch from Northern. Yeah, just a little handball in there. Unfortunate from Smith. And the free kick for Southern United. Of course, that does count as a foul. So first foul for Central. One for Southern United as well. Yeah, sent in there straight towards goal. That's off the crossbar. As Des Fountain gets the shot away, but it's side netting. And Walker throws long here for Green. As McCarthy sees that one out. Just couldn't quite bring that under control. Could the number nine? And sent long by Simmers. Trying to find the feet of Northern, but Cleo Harding does well. She drives forward now into the half. Has Green with a good challenge there from McCarthy. Nielsen will come forward now. She just steps over it a couple of times. Good challenge there from Green. But it's with Southern United again. Near side forward, Des Fountain. 
She tries to find the feet of Northern there, but taken by Green. And Grace Smith working hard on that far side, but can't keep it in. Kick in for Southern United. Almost three minutes gone here. This game did finish a lot quicker than the Capital Canterbury game last night. There's that one out of court on this near side. Kick in for Southern United. As McCarthy goes long for Northern. She can't bring that one under control and it rolls towards Walker. She gets us out of the game. Cleo Harding driving forward. This is a good run from her. Can she get the shot away? Does, but Simmers is there and makes the save as she rolls to Northern center court. Uses Nelson. Chance here for Northern as she charges for good pace there from Smith to see that one out of court. And it will be a kick in for Central. Linden steps forward. Far side now for Cleo Smith. Bit of pressure coming there from McCarthy. It's forced Smith back. And she sends that long. But it's Nielsen who's there first. And she steps forward. Linden battling with her. Nielsen still. Can she get the shot away? Does. Little touch on the way through there. Will be a corner. Good opportunity there for Southern United. There's McCarthy. Gets the shot away. Good save there from Walker. Des Fountain. She can't get through. Smith. But it's turned over again for Southern United. Near side now. Chance here for Des Fountain. She can't get the shot away. Northern. She keeps it in. Still going, but it's in the middle there with... Well, Smith and a good battle there between her and Des Fountain. She uses Northern. Good turn from Northern. Nielsen, can she get the shot away? Does. Good save from Walker. She just parries that one to the side. And the first real shooting opportunity for Southern United. As Northern sends that one in the middle, but it's straight to Walker, who throws. Good step in front there from Walker. Apologies, McCarthy. I can't keep it in, and Central will come. Charging forward is Smith. But she can't link up there with Green. We'll be out of court as we see changes coming now for Southern United. Diaz onto the court. Look at Robinson, Nicholson, and Body. And so they use Simmers near side now for Diaz. And she just jockeys it around. She's good on the ball, but she's lost out here. Chance here for Central. If they can get the shooting open, can't do. Start again with Linden. She gets the shot in, and it's wide of the target. As Simmers goes long here for Body. She gets a touch on it. Falls there for Robinson. But it will be Linden who'll come away with it. Drops back here for Cleal Harding. Green. Good move from her. But good challenge there from Nicholson. As Southern United can't believe it. As they feel they should have won the kick in there. The changes coming now for Central. That's G. Gurnick times two. And Cameron onto the court. As Gurnick now steps inside, gets the shot away, but Diaz is there. She pushes that forward for body, but Gurnick's the first one there. G. Gurnick. Gurnick near side here for Cameron. Gernick takes that off her, tries to get around G, almost threads the needle there as Robinson comes away with it, drops it back for Nicholson on the far side. Diaz now, what can she come up with? Gets around 
Almost. Gernick. And it's out of court on this near side. Kick in for Southern United. Just over five and a half minutes gone here. Nil nil the scoreline. One foul each. There's Diaz. Get us back underway. Nicholson. Forward for body. Holds it up well there. Does the number 10 as she dances around trying to find a way through. Chance here for body. Gets a shot away. It's wide of the target. Great work there from the number 10. As Central go long here, trying to find the feet of Gurnick, but Southern United there first, and it's out of court on the far side for a kick in. As no one's really too sure what it is, so the referees, no, they've decided it is a corner. I don't think either team really knew what it was there. As Central, shot comes in there from G, but Simmers collects that one. And she rolls for Diaz. Drops back for Robinson. Body. Well held up from her. Robinson, good challenge there from G as she drives forward now. Can she get the centering ball? Does so. Good save first up and away there by Diaz. I think it was. As Simmers did enough there to get in the way of it. As Diaz just cleared that away. As Gernick now drops 4G, kicked into the middle there. And Nicholson comes away with it and can't get it away at the moment. Diaz rolls out of court. We are kicking for Central. Sent forward Robinson there first. Far side now for Nicholson. Tries to find the feet there of Diaz, but just a bit too high. Gee, far side for Cameron. Gurnick sends that forward, but it's Robinson who's there. Robinson, Diaz. Gurnick came forward on her, and that's sent out of court. We're kicking here for Central. Gurnick sent back by Diaz. As Cameron can't find feet there, and it will be a goal line clearance. As Simmers launches that one long, and Body does well to bring that under control. Robinson finds Diaz. She cuts inside. Body. Trying to get around, does so. Gets the shot away and a good save there from Walker. Equal to it, just parries that one away. She's been called on a couple of times now and has been equal to it as that's left. Body takes another shot and headed away there by Gurnick. Will be a corner. As Diaz will set up to take this. It's a good set play there from Southern United. Chipped in. Uh, Falls there for Robinson. Nicholson gets there first, but Walker will pick that one up and throw long here. But Robinson, first to it, but out of court. Near side, kick in for Central. Cameron can't find G on the far side. work there from Gurnick as she drives down the line. Robinson coming across and good call there from the player. As it will be a Southern United kick in. As Robinson finds the feet of body. Neither side at the moment willing to let the other score as a good head there from Diaz drop back heel, nice there's a chance here to drive forward for Diaz drops off for Nicholson, chance to shoot and just wide of the target there from Nicholson good opportunity for Southern United but they can't find the back of the net 
Williams. Key now. Far side for Cameron. Chip forward bomb, Gurnick hit it again. Still going, chips that one in, but it'll be easy for Simmers. As she throws long to Body. Body, a bit of space here, chance one on one. Can't get to it, and they come together. Still going as Body lays it back for Nicholson, but she can't get on that one. And good covering defense there from Cameron. Of course, this is the fourth game of the weekend. And the players will start to be feeling a chance of a body, but it's wide of the target again. They're knocking on the door at the moment of Southern United as changes come. For Central, Robert, Morban, Harding, and Turner onto the court. Turner. Near side for Robert as Diaz is there. And a foul is called. <laughs> as again, Robert can't believe it. Claiming it was all ball. I feel pretty confident as it was just in front of me. There wasn't a lot of ball in it. There's body now in a bit of space. Can she turn? Chooses to go back to Nicholson as Nicholson dances around. Still going now. Body. Can she find a shooting opportunity? Falls over the ball. There's Nicholson now. Her turn to have a go. A little touch there. Diaz just wide of the target. As we might need the... Might need the Elsko towel back on the court as there is a leak in the roof. So the Elsko towel will be brought out. It's good technique again there from the referees. Also, there is a bit of a leak in the roof. get back underway with Walker and goal she uses Harding Morban Turner near side for Robert back for Turner Harding and a little touch there from body on the way through As Robert drops for Morban. Body full on her chance here for Body. She's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can she finish? Good save there from Walker. Came out early off her line and got big. Good save. As Southern United make the changes. Des Fountain, McCarthy, Nielsen and Northern onto the court. As Northern now. Nielsen drops for Des Fountain, but it's Morban who's there first. A good tackle from Nielsen. Can she get the shot away? Does. Good block there by Robert. <laughs> she felt that one. Looks like she's enjoying herself out there. The number 10, Hannah Robert. Good to see... People enjoying the sport. All smiles at the moment. There's a corner here for Southern United. Shot comes in and back post. It's off the post. Just Northern couldn't get anything on it. She was lurking there. And couldn't get that touch. And Southern United, they're creating opportunities at the moment. As Robert finds the feet of Turner. Oh, great ball there. As it comes across for Morban, who gets the shot away, but can't just bring that one around. And it's out of court on the far side for a kick-in. As McCarthy goes long here. A little roll. It is actually out of court on the far side. Still 1-0 on court two. 
Capital leading over the Pride. There's Robert now. Bit of space for her to come forward. Tries to play down the line there for Turner. But just a bit off target with the pass. Will be a kick in for Southern United. Nine minutes, 22 remaining in this first half. Nil-nil, the scoreline. Opportunities at both ends as Northern brings that one down nicely. And she gives to Jess Fountain. But... Uh, Good work there from Southern United to win that one back. McCarthy, Nielsen, press coming. And they have to clear to Southern United. And it's Harding now. Far side for Robert. Turner can't keep that one in. As the count has started here by the referee. Drops back for McCarthy. Jess Fountain can't get around Morban. Yes, Northern now drops for Nielsen. Can she get the shot away? Does good save there from Walker again. Is Turner. Nice little touch there. Uh, Morbun can't keep that one in. Out of court on this near side. Jess Fountain. Turns. Does well there. Good run from her. Looks to cut back across to Northern. But it's Neil. McCarthy gets a shot away. Oh, chance. It's in. And it's Northern. And Southern United open the scoring. Initially that first shot off the crossbar. And Northern was there to... Tap it in. Well, there you go. Southern United take the lead. Can they go on and get the three points here? Still in it. Uh, central. Yeah, it's a good run there from McCarthy. Bit of space for her. Gets the shot away towards the back post, but no one there. Let's see what that goal does for Southern United. This saying corner. There's McCarthy. Good block there from Green. As she steps forward. McCarthy finds the feet of Northern. Good turn from her. Bit of space. Striving for now is Northern. And it's wide of the target again. Southern United have had plenty of opportunities. There's Jess Fountain. Can't keep that one under control. And it's out of court on this near side. Kick in for Central. There's Nielsen. Dispossesses Linden. Good press coming here from Central. And that'll roll out of court just off Smith there. Uh, will be a kick in for Southern United. Seven minutes, 25 remaining. 1 0 the scoreline in favour of Southern United. Northern. Can she turn? Good turn from Northern. Can she get the shot away? Does. It's on the post. And opportunity there for, I think it was Nielsen coming through. And she can't hit the target. And wow. Southern United guilty of not finishing their opportunities at the moment as McCarthy steps in front nicely there. Uses Northern. Ford again there, but it's Smith who's there first. And she does well to keep that one in. Far side. Rolls centre court. Good work here. Great ball forward here for Green. As Jess Fountain puts in a good challenge and wins the kick in on the far side. Rolls for McCarthy and she just pushes that one into Green. As Linden first to that one. 
uses Smith. Khalil Harding, near side for Smith again. Green. As that pass is just a bit wayward. And heads out of court. Will be a goal line clearance. As Simmons goes long for Des Fountain. Good little touch on there, but Walker. She throws long. Head initially from Nielsen. And then Smith gets a head on it. And it's back as far as Simmers, Northern now. She's looked good up top today. Plays for McCarthy, but left behind. Nielsen comes and cleans up. Still going. Chance here for Green. Turns around one. Can she get the shot away? Does, but it's just a bit wide of the target. Good shooting opportunity there. She did well to get into that position. 1-1 between Capital and Canterbury. As Simmers throws long here for Diaz. But she can't keep that one in court. Kicking far side now. Six minutes remaining in this first half. Southern United lead one goal to nil. Two fouls for Central, one for Southern. Cleo Harding near side for Green. Cleo Harding again. Good ball forward there for Linden. But it's out of court. Will be a goal line clearance. Uh, Simmers throws long for Diaz this time. Can't bring it under control, but not out of court as far as Walker. She throws long here. Still going is Smith, but can't keep that one in. Just both sides at the moment guilty of giving away possession as body. Just brings that one back as far as the keeper. Diaz. She gets round. Still going as Diaz. She's got body in the middle. Can she use it? Does chance. Good save from Walker. And another opportunity for Southern United. And they can't make it count. It's been Walker and goal. She's been strong. Keeping things close at the moment. There's a good move from Green. But it's out of court on the far side. Will be a Southern United ball. Sent forward to Body here. Turns near side for Nicholson. Steps back inside. Tries to find the feet of Diaz. Eventually it gets there. As it's left and it will be out of court. Kick in here for Central. Cleal Harding. Linden. Shot blocked there by Robinson. As Body now driving forward. One on one again with the keeper. Can she finish this time? No. Wide of the target. She's had opportunities. Just can't get one on target at the moment. And Walker is strong as well as Central. Just kicked that one away. As Robinson gives to Nicholson, who tries to turn. Does so. And a good challenge in the end there by Cameron. She'll come forward with it. Finds the feet of Gurnick. But Robinson recovers and it's out of court on the far side. Centred chance here. Still going. Good save from Simmers. And cleared away in the end there by Robinson, I think it was. And Southern United this time survive. As it will be a kick in for Central. Cameron. Chips forward for Gurnick. Good hit on that, but it'll just roll out of court. As Simmers launches this one long, trying to find body. Does so. Near side here for Robinson. She drives forward. Does well to keep that one in. Still going as Robinson. Drops for body. Back towards goal. Plays it back for Nicholson. Little touch there from... Yeah. 
Central will be a kick in for Southern United. As Nicholson receives that one, drops it back. Well kept in this time by, no, referee says. Ball was out. As Central get us back underway, Cameron. Good challenge there from Nicholson. As Gee will get us back underway. Far side there for Cameron. As Diaz battling with her. Good little almost there from Gernick to keep that one in. But it's out of court. Three and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Good turn from Diaz and a bit of space. Bodies with her. Chance here for Southern United. And it's off the post. Still going. Body turns. Can she get the shot away? Does. Good save there. And it's cleared away. I think it's Cameron. It was in the right spot there. And Southern United knocking on the door again. They just can't finish yet. Well, finish again, as they do have one. As Nicholson finds the feet of body. Back for Robinson. She flicks forward here. As Nicholson battling. Does well. Still going. Our central chance on the counter. Gurnick. She chips back in, but no one's there. It's going to be Nicholson who will come away with it. Steps back inside. She's got Robertson, but Gurnick there. Good positioning from her. She drives forward, but can't find the feet of Gurnick. There's Nicholson now. Body finds the feet of Vera. Her first touch. That's forward for Walker. And easy picking there. Two and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Southern lead, one goal to nil over Central. And Zepsum onto the court as well for the first time in this game. And Ishikawa as well. As Maudsley, far side for Verivas. Her touch is heavy. Chance here for Cameron. Shot blocked there by Epsom. There's a little chip shot coming in there from Gee, and it's wide of the target. Two minutes remaining here. Southern, go long. Maudsley. Keeps that one in nicely. Verivis is there, but a time for her. Uses Ishikawa, but good interception there from Harding as she drives forward. And it's out of court. And will be a kick in for Southern United. There's Maudsley. Gernick, good defence from her. Ishikawa wins the kick in. Yeah, Southern United come forward. Maudsley flicks forward here, but it's going to be Cameron who's there first. Bit of pressure coming from Verivis. So Cameron has to send it out. Uh, she's Sent back the five. Maudsley, shot comes in, but it's wide of the target. As Walker rolls for Harding. Near side for Cameron. Good ball for Gee. And she recycles. Run forward there. Still going as Harding. Can she get the shot away? Good work here. Battling there. Verivis gets involved as well. It's going to fall there for Simmers. As she sends long for Maudsley. And that one wasn't quite where she was looking to send it, I think. But Maudsley is in the action again. She gets the shot away and a good save from Walker. She's played well, the number one. Really kept her team in. This is Verivis now. Bit of space for her to come forward. Drops for Maudsley. Still going as Verivis. 
Just a little to her right centres. And Ishikawa making herself known in there, but it falls at the back here for Epsom. Near side for Maudsley. And there's a good challenge there from Gee. It's out of court on this near side. Kick in for Central. Sent forward here. Harding. Great ball forward there, but just couldn't get enough on it as Ishikawa drives into the half. Recycles back for Maudsley. Gurnick. Chance here. Cameron, two on one. Good challenge there. Still going. Good save from Simmers. Yes. It's still there for Central. Cameron can't get the shot away. As Gurnick sends in a shot, but it's straight at the keeper. And Simmers will throw long here. And that's straight down as far as Walker. And that'll do it for the first half. Southern United take a one goal to nil lead into the break. We'll be back here in five minutes. Stick around. has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. we are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be. been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years.
Welcome back to Main Power Stadium. In the second half of this Ford Futsal Super League clash between Southern United Women and the Central Women. Southern United lead as it stands, one goal to nil. And they'll look to get their first win of the Super League. Plenty of play for for Central. It's the fourth game of the weekend for both teams. 1-1 one, one on court two. Just halftime has just begun there. We'll keep you updated with that score as we continue. Referees and players look ready to go. And we're back underway here as Southern United will look to get into their work. And if that's out of court on the snare side. Will be a kick in for Central. Early chance for them to make a mark on the second half as Linden steps forward. And still going as Linden. Strong run here. And she's on the ground, but it's cleared away there by McCarthy. It was in the end. Is that the same starting lineup? There's a chance to shoot blocked there by McCarthy. Smith, plenty of time to step forward. As sent forward here. That cleared away Northern. Sends it back for McCarthy. Far side for Des Fountain. Coming forward now is Smith. Can she get the shot away? Does. And it's side netting. Good opportunity there for Central early in the second half as Simmers goes long for Northern. Good turn from her, but she's going to just be able to keep that in as she tries to get around Linden. But it's fallen there for Nelson as she goes forward. Gets the shot away and a good save there from Walker. As Nelson in a bit of space gets the shot away, but just parried away out for a corner. As Northern leans back on that one and it's wide off the target as Walker drops for Linden chips forward there for Smith but that'll go through as far as Simmers and she'll roll for Des Fountain good turn but out of court far side kick in for Central Linden chips that one in, and it's out of court. There's Northern now. Turns nicely. Can't you get the shot away? Does. Good save there for Walker. Down low to her left. And that one just rolls out of court on the far side. No one there to follow up for either side. So it will be a kick in for Southern United. As Des Fountain uses McCarthy. And she can't get around Smith. As Smith wins the kick in. There's again some confusion as to who gets the kick in. Green. Near side for Linden. Just waiting for the opening there. As it's come back here for McCarthy. Northern now. Good work there from Green as she steps forward. Near side for Cleal Harding. Shot comes in, a good save there. And that's good work there from Cleal Harding. Shooting channel open. And she took a chance, but good save again from Simmers. As step over there, but that might roll back. Walker will get to that one first. And she'll get it back in there as McCarthy gets a foot on it. Out of court on this near side. Kick in for Central. Smith, Green, great ball through there, but Northern was equal to it. As Des Fountain now comes forward with it, finds Nielsen through the legs, but Walker will get first to that one. And she throws long here for Smith. Chance, just wide of the target. Good opportunity again for Central. Creating opportunities early in this half. 
as Northern holds it up nicely. Looks to turn around Smith. Uh, Green does well to come across and cover as well. Out of court kick and far side for Central. Two and a half minutes gone in the second half. Southern United still lead one goal to nil. Will Harding trying to find the feet of Linden as Des Fountain that'll come away with it. McCarthy near side for Northern. Des Fountain can't keep that under control. As Cleo Harding uses Green and she tries to turn. And it will be a kick in here for Southern United. Northern. Nielsen. Pressure coming there. And it falls back as far as Walker. And it will be Smith to come again. Linden. Cleel Harding can't get on that one. Yeah, Simmers rolls for chance there for Desfountain to turn, but she chooses to pass it off for Northern. Still Northern gets the shot away. And a good save there from Walker. Had to be aware. And she was equal to it. Down low again. As Northern Chop comes in and a good save again there. As Des Fountain and Smith come together, but it's Smith coming away with it. Good run forward for her. Numbers back. And a good challenge there from Northern. As Nielsen manages to turn, but it's Cleo Harding now. And she tries to get around McCarthy, but it's out of court on the near side. Good passage of play from both sides. Defence and attack. Opportunities at both ends as Linden drops back for Green. And Cess Fountain coming forward now. Good little turn from her. Still going. Drops back for Nielsen. Far side for McCarthy. And she gets a shot away. Doesn't trouble Walker. She rolls near side for Green. Smith. Earl Harding. Green. This is good. And as I say that, it's turned over. Northern. And good work again from Smith. She's strong on defence and a good turn as well. But Des Fountain recovers. As Northern drops that one back. And that will find its way out of court on this near side. Kicking for Southern United. As the shot comes in, Walker collects that one, throws long for Geek. And she's looked after there by McCarthy. Good battle between those two. Des Fountain comes away with it. Nielsen can't find the feet of Des Fountain again. As Linden can't keep hold of that one. McCarthy. Nielsen gets the shot away. It's wide of the target. Walker happy to let that one across the face of the goal. And it's out of court. Kick in. Was it a keeper's ball? Goal line clearance here. That is. As Walker chooses to throw long. Straight to Southern United though. Northern in a bit of space. Winds up, but again, straight at the keeper. And there's Robert onto the court. As Gernick finds the feet of Geek. Tackle there from McCarthy. Nielsen seals that one away. Northern holds it up. Drops for Des Fountain. Coming forward as Des Fountain keeps this one in. Can she centre? Nope. Yes. A little bit too far in front of her there. It was a good run though. There's Gee. Robert. Good little play there. Robert's still going. Uh, will be a keeper's ball. Yes, yeah, changes come. Body. Diaz. And Body uses Diaz. Chance for Diaz. Bit of space. But just leaves a little bit behind her. Nicholson. Robinson on this near side. Uses her. 
Diaz now. Margie Diaz drives into the half, gets the shot away, blocked their chance. Nicholson blocks from Gee there. And it's cleared away by Gurnick. As Diaz will come again. Gee stepping forward there, chance for Robert. Holds it up, drops it back. And Gurnick can't connect there. And it's out of court for a kick in. Just over six minutes gone in the second half. Southern United lead one goal to nil. As Robert does well to get in the way there. Gurnick chips that one forward. Still going to Skunik and a good shot. But off target. Just a bit too high there. Yeah, Simmers throws long here. And it's Skunik who gets there first. Robert still smiling. Can't bring that one under control. There's Nicholson. Chance here for Robert. Gets a shot away and good save in the end there from Simmers. And she throws long and Gurnick first to it. Out of court from her though. Kick in Southern United far side. As Diaz does all the hard work on the run. But the pass is slightly a straight. Out of court near side. Kick in for Central. Good touch there from Gee. Gurnick down the line for Robert. Nicholson coming away with a chance here for Southern United. Two on one. Good work there from Gurnick. Had to be made. Just a little bit too late there from Nicholson. But Gurnick got herself into a good position. And squashes out the attack from Southern United. Nicholson. Robinson's in there. Still going. As Gurnick comes away with it. She's got a bit of space to run forward. Uses Robert. Gurnick again. But Body does enough there. And it's out of court on this near side. Shot from Gee. Good save from Simmers as Body now. Chance to turn. Tries to find the feet of Diaz. Still body. Driving forward now. And it's a good little challenge there. From Gee. I'll leave that one. As I'll stick to the commentary. There's a chance here for Gurnick. We can't get anything on it. As on court two. Canterbury have gone up two goals to one. There's body. Can't go back. Has to go. And it'll be two touch. Yes. A chance here for Central. Let's see what happens here. Great opportunity for Central to get back into this one. Be my favourite spot to be in right now. So, opportunity here for Central to tie things back up. There's the... Got to wait for the whistle. Bit of excitement there. Here's the whistle. Shot coming in. Good save there from Simmers. As she parries that one away. Strong shot from Gurnick. There's a shot coming in from Gee. Good save again there from Simmers. Being called into action a little bit now. As it's Central's turn to build some pressure. Another chance, but a block there from Nicholson this time. Still going. And Simmers comes away with it. Diaz in a bit of space. Drops for Robinson. Nicholson. Press coming from Central. Good work there from Gurnick. Chance for Gee. Bit of space. Gurnick drops it back to Robert. And they start again here to Central. Gurnick. Press coming. Body. Bit of space for her. Coming forward. Can she get the shot away? Uses Diaz. And it's wide to the target. They've had their opportunities of Southern United. But they just can't hit the target. And another good opportunity there for Diaz this time. Body did the hard work. 
And Diaz can't finish into the goal. And some good goalkeeping and poor shooting at the moment, uh, costing Southern United. There's Nicholson trying to find a way through here. Driving hard, still going as Nicholson drops off for body. Uses Diaz, bit of space for her. She drives into that space, gets the shot away, but blocked there by Gurnick. As Gurnick tips that one forward. As Simmers collects it. Far side now for Nicholson. Gee coming forward on her. Still Nicholson. Good work there from Gee. And she turns nicely, sends that one away. And Simmers will pick it up. Goes long here for Diaz, but she can't keep that one in. And it will roll out and subs will be made. Oh, they have created a number of opportunities in this game, Southern United. Just haven't been able to finish them. And there's Turner now. Good touch there from Smith. Harding. And a shot coming in there from Cameron. Robinson uses Diaz, who can't bring that one under control. There's Cameron. Shot comes in, but just wide of the target. Good shooting channel there. There's Simmers will throw long here for Body. She does well to keep that to central players on her. Still going as Body. Bit of space now. Still going. Ducking, diving. Shot away. Good save from Walker. Had to be made and handled as Diaz was coming in. As Nicholson gets on that one, her chance now to come forward. Uses Diaz. Good roll there. Diaz. Good save again from Walker. As body shot comes in. Wow. Sophie Walker has been huge in goal for the central side. That's a lot of one-on-ones that she's had to face. And so far, she's saved pretty much all of them. There's changes coming now for Southern United. McCarthy, Des Fountain, Nielsen, and Northern heads back up top. There's Nielsen now. Chance to shoot. Good block there from Cameron as she drives forward. Harding flicks this one forward. As it was good work there from Nielsen coming across to block the run of Turner. Set piece here for and a shot coming in, but again high of the target. As Simmers throws long for Northern. Drops us back for McCarthy. Trying to find the feet of Nielsen, but it's through to Walker. She throws long. Turner holding this one up. Des Fountain getting involved. Still going though. As McCarthy comes across and that's out of court on the far side. Nine minutes, 20 seconds remaining. As we just, we break and play here. And we will make a substitution. Not sure what happened there. For Turner. I'll take a seat. Maybe a little bit of a knock to the air there. As Morbun replaces her. Harding, good work down the line. They're still going as Harding. Shot, good save though from Simmers. Straight at her. Des Fountain now. Morbun coming forward on her. Good tackle. Falls there for Northern. Still going as Northern tries to roll past Smith. But it's out of court on the far side for a kick in. Nine minutes remaining here. Southern United still lead one goal to nil. No fouls in this half yet. As Northern looks to turn around Smith. Can't do so. Nielsen drops back for McCarthy. Heavy touch from her and it falls here for Cameron. And it will be a kick in for Southern United. Nielsen flicks this one forward but goes through all the way to Walker as she throws long now. Nielsen is there first. Falls for Nielsen. Good 50-50 challenge there. Falls here for Southern. And Nielsen will come away with it. A good tracking back from Smith. Good battle there. And Smith 
gets there eventually as Nielsen ends up on the ground. Smith, near side, can she keep this one in? Can't quite keep it in. Good run, though, from her. As this Fountain get that one in. McCarthy flicks long for Northern. Falls for Smith. She dances around, finds the feet of Harding, but a good challenge there from McCarthy. She shoots into Northern, still Northern, drops it back. Nielsen, near side for McCarthy. Northern again. What can she do here? Turns back, lays it off for Nielsen. Shot coming, but wide of the target. They've had their chances to bury this game at Southern United. But Walker and goal. And some poor finishing at the moment at keeping Central in this game. And they are knocking on the door as well. They're not done. Morbun near side. Down the line for Cameron. She loses out. Des Fountain. Northern shot. Good save again. There's Walker. Fantastic save again. Still 2-1 to the Pride. As a shot comes in, another good save there. Had to get down low. Northern just smiles at that one. She's had a few shooting opportunities. There's a chance here for Central to break. There's... Cameron ends up in a heap. And substitution's coming now for Central. Smith stays on. Linden. Green. And Cleo Harding. Seven minutes, 14 remaining. Can Central find a way back into this one? There's that one. Rolls away. This will be a kick in here for Southern United. It is. Just found a good run from her, but leaves the one behind. And it falls for Nielsen. She tries to come near side for Northern. But it's out of court. Will be a kick in for Central. Good challenge there from McCarthy and she forces Green out of court they come quickly though Smith off the post still there for Central what a chance there for Smith as Southern United come forward now Nielsen ends up on the ground and Smith coming forward tries to find the feet as Des Fountain far side gets around one still going as Des Fountain Smith coming across still going as Des Fountain good work from her McCarthy Little touch there. Will be a Southern United ball. Northern shot coming. There's Walker. Happy to let that one go out. Six and a half minutes remaining. 1-0. Still the scoreline in favour of Southern United. Can they hang on? Or can Central find a way back into this game? As they go long. As McCarthy gets a foot on that one out of court far side. London. She drives forward. Good turn there. But again, Nielsen, chance to come forward here. Can she get the shot away? Does, but blocked there by Smith, who's always working hard on defence. And she charges back. Chance here for Northern. Gets the shot away. Blocked again by Smith. Still Northern. Chance. And oh, it almost finds a way in there. But Walker equal to it. And she throws long here. And it's going to go too long. And Simmers will pick that one up. She'll throw for Northern. Good tackle again there from Smith. Falls for Khalil Harding. Chance for her. Good tackle from McCarthy. End to end at the moment. Both sides having their chances. There's a corner here for Central. 
And a good challenge still going, though, as Clue Harding centered. Simmers picks up and rolls for Northern. Far side for Jess Fountain. Can she keep that in? She can't. It's out of court. Turn over here. Cleo Harding. Near side for Green. But she can't keep that one in. And timeout caught here by Coach Arnon Tap. Just calm as players down. I'm sure they are up with one goal. Plenty of opportunities for Southern United. But Walker, she's been fantastic in goal for Central. And if it only stays one goal lead, that's where things can get interesting. Central can peg one back. They're still in this game. I'd love to know the stats on how many one-on-ones Walker has saved in this game. As the timeout expires here. Will be a kick in on this near side for Southern United. Five minutes, 38 remaining. Northern trying to turn back inside. Still going. Drops back here for Nielsen. She tries to find a bit of space. Can she get the shot away? Good challenge there as both of the players end up in a heap. As Cleo Harding comes off second best there. Foul call by the referee. First foul of the half. There's Linda now. She goes long. Des Fountain gets good hit on that. Northern challenges, wins hard there. Still going as Northern finds the feet of Nielsen. But that'll roll to Walker, and she'll collect that one. And she drops for Linden near side. Finds the feet of Smith. She's got a bit of room to move. She'll take it. Green, good turn from her, but into players. And Southern United will come forward. Des Fountain in a bit of space. Gets a shot away, but Walker equal to it. As they throw long, it's end-to-end -end at the moment. As Simmers picks that one up. Des Fountain finds the feet of Nielsen. Des Fountain still going. She can't quite bring that one in. And now it's Green who comes away with it. Bit of space for her, but it just rolls a bit too far in front of her. Northern. Still going is Smith. Lots of running at the moment from both sides. Can she get the shot away? Falls there for Nelson. She just clears that one away. Update on court two. 3 2 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Close game over there as well. Chance for Smith. Good turn there from Green, but the foul is called. And the second foul of the half. And another opportunity here for Central. Can they find a way through? Four minutes, 11 remaining. Second foul for Southern United. Set piece opportunity here, laid off. Turn and shoot, but blocked there by Southern United. Out of court. It was no block. It was just wide. So it will be a kick in for Southern United. There's changes for Southern United. As Robinson just kicks that one into Nicholson. Yeah, Smith drives the shot in, but blocked there by Body. It is corner now for Central. Four minutes remaining. One nil the scoreline. Chipped in. There's Diaz. Happy to let that one roll out on the far side. Well, Central have to start really pushing out. I don't know if they'll go to fifth man. But a chance here for Smith. And she wins that back off. 
Body gets in the way. Coming forward is Diaz. Still going is Diaz. Does well. Still going. But falls there for Green. Now Green's going. Can she get the shot away? Good work there from Miss Robinson. Just forcing her away from goal. As a shot comes in and blocked there by Nicholson. Out of court for a central kick in. Three minutes, 39 remaining. Still time for Central. Gernick. Uh, she looks for Smith on the far side. It's out of court. And Zan and Tap just takes his time. Give his players a little bit more of a rest. As Diaz forced to find body, but that falls there for Lindeg. Chance here for Green. Turns, shoots, good save. Had to be made there by Simmers as the deflection came through. There's changes now for Central. As Smith comes for a breather, replaced by Gernick. There's chance here for Lindeg. Green. Good ball across for Gurnick. She can get a shot away. Good challenge there from Nicholson and wins the kick in. Good defensive work there from Southern United. Three minutes, 16 remaining. As Nicholson comes forward, body. Good challenge there from Green, who comes away with it. Needs to put pressure on her. Gets the shot away, but straight to Simmers. And she rolls for Nicholson. It's getting hectic now. There's a good challenge there from Gurnick. Out on this near side. Slows the play of Southern United. Just under three minutes remaining here. 1-0 still the scoreline in favour of Southern United. There's a chance for Gurnick, but she can't get on it. Body holds this one up. Flicks this one forward for DS. Gurnick's there first in front of Nicholson. As Diaz does enough there to get a touch on it. And it's out of court. Near side kick in for Central. Two minutes, 43 remaining. What can Central do here? Can Southern United hold on? Gurning. Touch there, but Gee is onto it. Good boy field here. Big touch from Gee. It's unfortunately turned over there for Central as Diaz finds the feet of Robinson in a bit of space. Trying to find Nicholson, who was unmarked there and just cleared away by Gurnick. Will be a Southern United kick in. Robinson, jockey's back, goes forward there, finds the feet of Nicholson, but a heavy touch from her. Then it falls for body, drops it back for Robinson. Forward again and out of court from Central. Two minutes, 12 remaining. Robinson, good challenge there. Falls here for Gurnick, shot, but straight at the keeper. As Simmers throws long for Nicholson, she brings it under control. There's Linden. It's a brave hit in. And kick in for Southern United. Robinson, shot comes in, blocked there by Gurnick. Out on the far side for a kick in. One minute 56 remaining. Can Southern United hold on? Who can be the hero for Central. Nicholson, bit of space, in wide though. Trying to roll back round, numbers come forward, chance. And Robinson can't get on that one and another opportunity for Southern. As Walker goes long, body first to it. it falls back as far as Linden. Near side for Gurnick. Minute 30 remaining. Gurnick. Smith back on the court. And it's her shot straight through to Simmers, who just drops for Robinson. Nicholson. She tries to get around Smith, but runs out of court on the far side. Kick in for Central. Minute 14 remaining. Good work here from Central. Shot comes in, blocked there from Diaz. Chance for Gurnick, though. She lines up. 
Blocked by Robinson as Body sends that out far side for Nicholson. As Nicholson looks for a bit of room on the court, drives forward. Good run forward here. And a good challenge in the end there. From Gee, out of court near side, kick in for Southern United. Fifty-five seconds remaining here for Southern United. Can Central find a way to score? They've got a push. Going to leave it all out on the court. Last 55 seconds of the weekend as a shot comes in. Blocked there. As Simmons has to come forward. Touch from her. She sends it out of court near side. Turnover. Chance now for Central. There's Smith. Gee, heavy touch. Chance for Good move, though. Had to be made there from Gee. As Smith driving forward. As she can't find the feet of Green there. And it's out of court for Simmers. 39 seconds remaining. Got to press high here to Central. But Nicholson, bit of time for her. Pressure comes. And Smith somehow comes away. I think it's a shot in, but it's straight at Simmers, who throws for Robinson. Pressure coming now from Green. Still going, though. Good challenge here from Green. Chance here for Green. As... Simmers does well to come across there and cover it. There's a corner. 20 seconds remaining here. Can Central take something from this game? Chance. But it's wide of the goal. Still 19 seconds though. Simmers throws long for body. She brings that under control. Can they recycle here? Chance here for Green. And a bit of space. As cleared away there by McCarthy. 11 seconds. Can Southern United hold on? Shot comes in, but again, it's wide of the target from Central. As Body unmarked at the back here. Chance for Southern United. Body holds on to this one. Recycles. Time expiring. That'll do it. And Southern United will get their first win of the Ford Futsal Super League. They take this one out. One goal to nil over Central. Both sides fought hard. Opportunities are plenty for Southern United. But Walker was outstanding in goal. But Southern United take the spoils here. One goal to nil. We'll be back here at 2 p.m. for the final games of this series. Hawks Bay will be taking on the Canterbury Dragons on this court. And Capital taking on Southern United on court two. Until then, stick around. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern, recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. The stalk represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. 
one brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whanau where everyone is welcome.
Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. is coming to the shores of Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana Wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of Wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars. The power of opportunities, Faka Mana. Partnerships, Mana Natahi. Pathways, Ada. And Tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. Welcome back to Main Power Stadium out here in Rangiora. This final session of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. We're about to see the Hawks Bay men take on the Canterbury Dragons. What I'm sure will be an entertaining game full of goals. We've just seen Southern United women get their first three points of the Ford Futsal Super League with a win over Central, one goal to nil. And this game coming up, Hawks Bay were beaten 12-1 yesterday against the Canterbury Dragons. So they'll be looking to bounce back from that. They played a tight counter with Southern United this morning. Five all at half time. So I'm sure there'll be goals plenty in this game. We'll wait for the players to get ready and join you on the sideline shortly. Live here at Main Power Stadium. This final game of the Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series bringing the action between Hawks Bay and the Canterbury Dragons wasn't a tight encounter last time these two teams played yesterday Dragons coming out 12-1 winners so I'm sure Hawks Bay will be looking to bounce back today of course on the other court Capital taking on Southern United in the men's competition starting lineups for today 
Percy Fish in goal for Hawks Bay. Lack, Mustafa, Emerson and Stallard. And for the Dragons, Hamish Mitchell in goal. Oakman, Mitchell, Zimmerman and Joseph out on the court. Well, if there's anything to go by Hawks Bay's match this morning, we'll be in for an absolute doozy. Five all at half time between Southern United. It's action packed. Don't know if it'll end up that way again here, but we're underway. And it will be the Dragons to get us started as Joseph. Bit of room for him to move forward. Trying to find the feet there of looks to be Oakman so there must have been a slight change to the starting lineup no he wasn't there and there's Clink in goal in fact that is the one change Hamish Mitchell sitting on the bench as they go long and it's Emerson who tries to get ahead on that one but save will chalk it up for Clink and goal as Mustafa will get us back underway. Falls here for Mitchell driving forward. Good challenge there. It's still there for Mitchell. Joseph centers Mitchell and a good save in the end. And again, it's Percy Fish. They told me after the last game, they actually play striker in the outfield. So he says, I don't know if I agree with him, but a nice change to go in goal. Um, not everyone would agree with that, but that's why he's pretty silky on the ball as well as shot comes in from Zimmerman. Joseph shoots, but wide of the target. And it's out of court for a clearance. That's Harry Lack, the number six. Had big minutes this morning. It was dangerous when he was coming forward. As goes forward here for Emerson. There's Zimmerman. Does enough there. And it's out of court for a kick in on this near side for the Dragons. Clink. Mitchell. Zimmerman. No press coming from Hawks Bay at the moment. As that breaks down, Emerson going forward. And what a finish there! And it is that man, Harry Lack. Had an exceptional game. As that breaks down, Emerson going forward. And what a finish there! But it was Emerson there who did the hard work and laid it off for really an open goal finish. But good start here for Hawks Bay. Inside the first minute, they lead the Dragons one goal to nil. And there's Joseph Zimmerman working hard. Good ball here for Mitchell. But Mustafa comes forward on him. And the first foul of the match called. There's Mitchell. Can't believe it. There will be a free kick here. Stallard. Drops back for Lack. Fast side for Mustafa, who does well there, but loses it in the end, out of court. Will be a kick in for the Dragons. As Mitchell near side for Zimmerman. Stallard coming forward on him. Oakman. As Mitchell. Can't keep that one in. And it is out of court. Will be a kick in here for Hawks Bay. Lack. Far side for Percy Fish, but can't bring that one under control. I think it was Joseph arriving there. He managed to clear that one away. Near side now for Percy Fish. Let's see if he can get that shot away. Does so, but it's wide of the target. There's the two keepers in green. 
And Zimmerman now, he can't bring that one under control. Out of court, far side. Almost two minutes gone here in this first half. Hawks Bay lead one goal to nil. Emerson drops for Lack. Good work there from Open. Chance for Open. Good work there from Lack. As he sends that one away. Out of court, far side. There's Joseph. Mitchell. Shifts down the line. Good work there from Joseph. Coming forward now. He's got Open with him. And that's a good challenge from Mustafa. Forcing it out of court. Far side kick in for the Dragons. Probably not the start that Coach James Valance would have wanted. As Oakman shot blocked there by Lack. And it will be a corner this time. As Oakman finds the feet of his keeper. As Joseph near side. Chance here for Emerson, but he can't get on that one. And it rolls out of court. Stillard was there too. As Joseph only finds Mustafa, goes for goal. And a good save in the end there from the goalkeeper. Almost caught out of position there was Clink. But it is out of court and will be a Hawks Bay ball. They've started this game the same way they started against Southern United. As the volley comes in there from Emerson. Emerson and Mustafa have a wee chat on the court. As we see Emberton entering the action for the first time. Zimmerman turns nicely, drives into the half. Here's Oak. Emerton, but it falls there for Stellard. Far side for Lack. And a good challenge there from Joseph. Forces it out. There's Lack now near side for Percy Fish. And Zimmerman. Kicking on this near side. There's Lack. Oakman coming forward on him. Still going. There's Lack. Good challenge there from Oakman. Holds it up nicely. What a finish! And puts in the shush. Does Oakman. Well, that was nice play there from the number 11. Just shaped to shoot and track back. Picked his spot and drilled it. Beautiful finish there. He's rewarded with a little break on the bench. As Emberton now, Zimmerman. How will that change things here for the Dragons? Good turn there from Zimmerman. Lays it off, but it's Mustafa who's there. And he comes for a break. Replaced by Hogg. Kick in for the Dragons. Referee showing they're on the right spot. As Eberton. Far side now for Cameron. He drops back for Clink. Clink goes long for Zimmerman. But it's out of court. Will be a kick in on this near side. Black. Riley. Back to Lack again. Far side for Hogg. And a good challenge there from Emberton. And sent forward. Almost touching the roof. But nothing called from the referee as a kick in on the far side for Hawks Bay. Almost four minutes gone here. 1 1 the scoreline. As a shot comes in, but blocked there. And it will be out of court near side. Kick in for Hawks Bay as changes still coming. 
Charlie Bailey onto the court for the Dragons. As Stellar shot comes in, a good save there from Clink. Had to be made as Bailey, his first touch, almost rolls it past. As Wright comes on for his first action of the afternoon game. Hog. Right. Touch goes to Joseph. Bailey. Bit of space for him. Toes, but doesn't get hold of that one. And it will be a keeper's ball. As Percy Fish drops short for the goal line clearance. There's Charlie Bailey. Somehow gets something on that. There's Emberton now. Bailey pushes that one forward, but can't find the run there of Emberton. There's Coach Valance. Happy what he's seeing with his players at the moment is right. Drives forward, still going his right. Falls here for Riley. Bit of space for him. Heads out wide. As good tracking there from Emberton. And Riley took a little offence to that. As referee Anthony Riley. Make sure he tells the players that it's not allowed. Of course, the players don't know until they're told by the referee. There's a good interception there from Riley. Will be a kick in on the far side there for the Dragons. There's Bailey. Takes his time heading over there. Unless he is originally from these areas. Charlie Bailey. Yes, Charlie Bailey still going. Finds Emberton Chance and a finish there from Bailey and he won't celebrate that one. I'm not going to lie, he did actually chat to me before this game and told me the big celebrations he was going to do, but it was absolutely nothing like it. But what a great team goal there. Emberton and Bailey coming together. Just an easy finish there for Bailey. And with respect for his old team. He chooses not to celebrate. Yes, yeah, Bailey rolls for Emberton. Still going as Bailey. That was five minutes gone here. 2-1 in favour of the Dragons. And looking at the score update from court two, Southern United leading capital one goal to nil. Just over five and a half minutes gone there. As Bailey finds Emberton, but that shot is high wide. And Percy Fish sends that line for Hogg and a good punch there. As into the back of the head there of Hogg. Good call from the referee. And it wasn't in the court there. There's Croft now. Looks like Cousins is in the naughty boy chair for this game. I just saw him behind me. And a good run there from Wright it was. Wins the free kick. Dangerous position here. There's... You'd have to say Harry Lack will be the person that will line this one up. Heard there was a petition starting to bring back Adam Cowan into the side. Let's see if that gains any traction. Harry Lack. It's a dangerous position here. He's got some boot on him. And he'll go straight for going. A good save there from Clink. And another shot in there. That was hit well there from Hogg on the follow-up. Ah, the Dragons survive.
Yeah, there's a corner here for Hawks Bay. Wright can't keep that one in. There's a good touch on the member in the crowd. This time Grovner makes sure of it. As it goes back as far as Everton. Bailey now. Wright coming forward on him. It's Riley who's there first. Good ball movement here from the Dragons. Press coming from... And a good work here for Bailey. He's through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And a great sliding challenge there from Wright. Timed it perfectly. There's another chance here for the Dragons. Bailey leaves that one for Lack, who sends that one away. Will be out of court. As we see Patterson onto the court as well for the first time. As Mustafa replaces Wright. And a good toe there from Everton, but Percy Fish equal to that. As the Dragons set up for a set piece here. Almost six minutes gone. 2-1 the scoreline. Emberton drops for Cameron. He drives a shot in for Bailey, who can't get that on target. A chance here for Cameron, but he can't bring that one under control. As Emerson replaces Lack. He puts in big minutes. Just the number six. And as they go forward here, chance for Mustafa, but he just can't get on that one. As Clink sees that one roll away. As Clink goes long here. As good run there from Percy Fish just coming forward. Putting him off his run. Riley. Sends that one long, does Emerson, but no touch there. Out of court. And Clink, he'll throw long again. Can't keep that one under control, Ken Grovner. And there will be a kick in here for Hawks Bay. Emerson. Mustafa, can't keep that one under control. Both sides at the moment holding possession well. There's Roberts. His first action of the game. Wakawa out there on the far side. Roberts sends that one forward. Sorry, Richards. There's a good head there. And that'll make its way. towards the commentary box. There's Mustafa. Plays Emerson. Far side for Stullard. Emerson at the back of Stullard there. And it will be Richards to get us back underway. Can't find the feet of Cameron and Hawks Bay will drive forward now through Emerson. Far side for Stullard. Still there, but Cameron gets on that one. Finds the feet of Richards coming forward. Good challenge there from Mustafa. Still going as Richards. And a good challenge in the end there. Had to be made there from the number 15. I felt that on the court as well. Still are drops for Mustafa. And it was Haddison. And tried to get something on that, but off target. And it will be a kick in on this near side for the Dragons. Almost seven minutes gone here. 2 1 the scoreline. Dragons lead over Hawks Bay. Oikawa goes long, but first to it is Emerson. And Richards controls this one. Innes on the court for the first time as well. Good shackle there from Stillart. Still going, but blocked by Innes. And a good touch from him. Still going as Hemi Innes. Still going. Still going as Hemi Ennis. Can he get the shot away? He does, but that's wide of the target. Good run there from Ennis. Yes. 
Percy Fish goes long and it's Richards who'll come forward. Wicar was there, one-on-one. Good save there from Percy Fish as he rolls here for Patterson. One-on-one with Innes. Numbers back now for the Dragons. And they'll recycle this. Mustafa, far side for Stillard. Chips that one forward for Patterson. And they can't find a way through at the moment. This Hawks Bay attack. As the Dragons, a shot comes in and a little touch in there from Clink. Yes, looking at the scoreboard over between Southern United and Capital. Southern United out to a two goal to nil lead. And straight to Mitchell there as he drives into the half. Has Okawa unmarked, but leaves that behind. Emerson. Chance still here for Mitchell. Oikawa, can he get a shot away? Turns nicely, Chance, but uh, good save there. And a heavy fall there for Oikawa. Just on the back of his head on the court. And the physio out there. Along with those Elsko towels. They've done it all today. And as I say that, the Osco towel comes out again to mop up the drip that we've had. And again, expertly done there from the referees. Just got a bit of a leak in the ceiling. So... Will be Richards to get us underway with a corner here. And it's back to Richards. Cross the face of the goal, but too high. It's Mitchell and Open in the centre there that couldn't do anything. And it's Open there. Putting a bit of pressure on Lack. As Percy Fish sends that long, but Richards first to it. Finds the feet of Innes. Richards. Drops here for Mitchell, but it was Emerson who got there first. And it will be a corner ball here for the Dragons. Oakman drives that into Lack. Corner again. Ennis lets it bounce and hits it nicely. And it was Robson that got in the way there. Was on target. From him, Ennis. As Mitchell gets there first, gets the shot away. And it will be a corner for the Dragons. As straight to Percy Fish there. As they go long. As Richards does enough to break the play down. And Robson was running there. And looking on court two, Southern United out to a three goal to nil lead over Capital. As Lack puts that one across the face of the goal, but no one there for Hawks Bay. As Mitchell sends long, but it's Robson who's there first. Stellard, far side for Lack, but he can't find the feet of Emerson. This always feels like a different side to that that we saw in the Southern United game. It's high energy. I mean, arguably this is a bit more traditional futsal than what we saw, which we did brand back in the day as Central Chaos. Which worked, and it was definitely working in that first half for Hawks Bay. But they're still in this game. There's Stillard drops here for Robson. And no call there from the referee as the Dragons will come forward. Big foot there from Emerson as he drives forward. Gets those big legs going. And Innes, good challenge from him. Gets the ball. Driving forward now is Innes. Robson is back. 
Gets the shot away straight at Percy Fish, though. Who finds Lack and just drops it to him. Emerson. Oakman does enough there. And it's out of court on the far side. Will be a kick in here for Hawks Bay. Nine and a half minutes gone here. As a shot coming in. Still going though. And a chance there. That was Riley. Asking for the press now. As Hawks Bay, Richards dances around one. Still going. As Mitchell tries to find the feet there of Richards, but Robson and Riley were there. As Innes now, good touch from him, takes the shot, blocked. As Robson lets that one go out of court. As a timeout called here from James Valance. Well, tell you what, it's nothing like this morning's game. Hawks Bay a little bit more settled in this one. But they're in this game, that's for sure. Two one Canterbury lead. Two fouls for the Dragons, none for Hawks Bay, which after this morning is surprising. They raced out to five fouls and I think they got up to about four in that second half. But a different game plan here from the coach and team. It's working at the moment for them though. And for James Valance and the Dragons. I'll be looking to push on. And time out expires. Just over 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Dragons lead over Hawks Bay, two goals to one. Will be a corner ball here. No, it's a kick in. And we're away as Riley caught late there by Richards. And I tell you what, there's plenty of passion out there on the court. And it's still hard now. Trying to get around Richards, but Richards comes away with it. He's got Oakman with him. Can he find him? Goes for goal. Good save and good finish there from Oakman on the follow-up. Good initial first up save there from Percy Fish, but Oakman, who tracked their run the whole way, gets the tap in. Good follow-up there from the number 11. That's his second of the day as well. There's Hawks Bay now, down by two. There's Lack, just sends that one away. Possibly some tired legs out there as well from Hawks Bay. Both sides, fourth game of the weekend. Pretty tight schedule. There's Riley, challenged there. Chance for Mitchell, but he can't get the shot away. And he eventually does win it back with the keeper. Percy Fish was out of goal at that stage. As Richards finds the feet there of Mitchell. Oakman turns, gets the shot away, and a good save there in the end by Percy Fish. As chance here for Hawks Bay on the counter, and Oakman gets to it first. Black, good turn from him. Will be it unnecessary. Still enjoyed it. And a good challenge there from Oakman as Richards comes away with it. He drives into the half. Still going as Richards, but just gets away from him there. Be a goal line clearance. As you imagine, Percy Fish will just drop it there for Lack. Tends to be the way they play it out from the back here as Hogg back onto the court. 
Joseph, he drives forward. Still going. His, and a foul called there. Not sure if it was Hogg or Riley. And Zemberton can't receive the pass there from Innes. Eight minutes 52 remaining in this first half. Canterbury Dragons lead. Three goals to one. There's a shot driven in there by Lack. It's blocked. And now to court. Another kick in for Hawks Bay. Riley. Shot blocked there by Emberton this time. As Hogg sits up on the spot, leaves it here for Lack. And off the line, I believe. There's Ennis. Sends this forward here for Joseph. Does well there, but Lack is looking after him. Wins possession, does the number six, who sends it to Hogg. And he sends that one away. There's Richards now. The youngster, Anderson, coming forward on him. There's Percy Fish on this near side. Good skills there from the keeper. And they can't keep that one in. We're kicking for the Dragons. There's Ennis, finds Richards. Almost a heavy touch, but he's done well here. Has Richards finds Emberton, and what a strike that was! Just grazes the bar there. There's Mustafa now drops back for Lack. Good touch there from Zimmerman, but Mustafa working hard forces that out of court on this near side. Will be a kick in for the Dragons. Richards. Emberton. Richards again. He goes long. And almost there for Zimmerman, but falls for Percy Fish. There's a good head away there from Richards. Kick in far side now for Hawks Bay. Seven minutes, 49 remaining in this first half. Dragons lead. Three goals to one. Hogg. As he cuts in. And you could hear Harry Lack screaming there for back stick. Which is where it ended up. And no one there for Hawks Bay. As Clink throws long here for Zimmerman. But it's Hogg who's there. And just clears that one away. Kicking now for the Dragons. Emberton. Near side for Joseph as he gets down the line there. Pass Riley. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Good save there from Percy Fish as he eventually uses his hands. As Mustafa does well to get there, but already probably out of court by that time. And it will be a goal line clearance here for Clink as he rolls near side for Joseph. He takes a bit of space in the centre court. Emerton down the line. Good skills there from Joseph, but I think the referee's called this out on the far side. Yep. It will be a kick in here. There's Emerson. Onto the court again. Lack. Mustafa. Emerson. Drops for Mustafa. But again, I think that's out of court. Far side. Seven minutes remaining here in this first half forward futsal super league southern travel series and that's just nice play there from richards and emberton as a shot comes in from emberton but it's blocked there by lack and zimmerman richards shot comes in straight at percy fish though and right 
Good strengths there from Wright. Drops four. And a good save, but that's a late challenge, and that'll be a penalty from Richards there and the yellow card showing. A good save there from Clink, but he'll have to get back up and have a penalty kick smashed at him. Imagine Harry Lack will step up for this one. Again, just a bit of a late challenge there from Richards. Yes. Emerson says, no, no, mate, I won that. I will take it. And don't know how much of a discussion they'll have here, but Emerson's backing himself. And Harry Lack will walk back to halfway. So here we go. Emerson versus Clink. That is so close to the goal. Not fun for any keeper. That's probably why they love it. There's Emerson. Well, he got a bit of it there, did clink, but not enough of it. It's just that awkward height from Emerson. And that one brings it back to 3-2. Well, what will that do for the game? It's also the fourth foul for Canterbury as well. As Richards near side for Emberton. There's chance here for Mustafa. Falls there almost for right, but he can't get to it. Just rolling away from him there. As Clink throws long here for Zimmerman, but Lack first to it. Good challenge there from Charlie Bailey. Emberton. Bailey again. As he ends out of court on the snare side, kicking for the Dragons. Emberton plays the feet of Joseph far side. He drives forward, centre court still going. And just caught there by Emerson on the way through. As he says, yes. I know I fouled him. <laughs> There's cries from the Dragons team. Second foul there for Hawks Bay. As Zimmerman drops for Joseph. Pressure coming from Mustafa. It's fallen here. Chance. It's in. Wow. Just like that. Hawks Bay are back into it. The mistake from the Dragons and Mustafa pounces on the loose ball and puts it through the legs of the keeper. And we're all tied up here at Main Power Stadium. Six minutes remaining in this first half. 3-3 now. Wow. Didn't expect that a few minutes ago when it was 3-1. It just shows how one goal can change things. There's Patterson trying to get round Bailey. He can't do so. It's out of court. Far side kicking for the Dragons. Still 3-0 to Southern United over on court two. It's coming to the end of the half there as Lack does well. Mustafa in a bit of space. As chips that one down the line. And a chance for Lack to shoot, but it's wide of the target. And... It's all happening here for Hawks Bay at the moment. As Clink throws long for Zimmerman. And Mustafa, he's making a nuisance of himself on this Dragons back line as Joseph finds himself in a bit of pressure. But it's out of court. And looking over at court two, it's 4-0 now in favour of Southern United. As Bailey, good turn from him, gets away from Patterson, finds the feet there of Joseph coming forward now. The Dragons shot, but wide of the target and just hits the side netting there. As Mustafa is down a back plate. There's attention being called for. Not sure what happened there. But 
But he'll come to the side. Still aren't on to the court. Corner here for the Dragons. As Joseph plays back for Zimmerman. And that's just out of court on the far side. Kick in for Hawks Bay. Five minutes remaining here. 3-3 three, three the scoreline. There's halftime on court two. As Emberton pulled back there by Patterson. That's third foul there for Hawks Bay. Went 4-0 at half time to Southern United over Capital. As Bailey can't keep that one in as he drives down the line trying to get around Emerson. Good little battle between those two. Look like they're enjoying themselves. Out on the court. There's Lack now. Bailey comes forward on that. Can he get the shot away? He does. And a good save there from Percy Fish. So it will be a corner ball here as Zimmerman drops it for Bailey. Zimmerman again. As far as Joseph. But a space for him to shoot. Good block there by Lack. There's that one forced out of court. Far side. Kicking now for the Dragons. As Joseph leaves that for Emberton. Falls here for Lack. Patterson drops for Emerson. Emerson. Stillard. Bit of pressure coming now from the Dragons. As Lack can't keep that one under control. And a roll back as far as Clink. Bailey. And Joseph can't keep that under control. But it is a great wee battle there between Bailey and Emerson. They're enjoying themselves. It's good to see out on the court as Emerson tries to take it around Bailey, but it's Bailey this time that comes away with it. Three on two here for the Dragons, and a good challenge there from Lack. Had to be made. I had the overlap. There's Bailey now. Pushes that forward for Zimmerman. Charging through is Bailey, but not used by Zimmerman. Drops it back as far as Ennis. He'll just walk it up to the halfway line. Joseph. Ennis again, far side for Bailey. Joseph tries to drop it off for Bailey, but Patterson gets there first. And it's out of court. Will be a kick in here for the Dragons. As Charlie Bailey walks over casually. To collect the ball. Drops it off here for Innes. Finds the feet of Joseph. Good turnaround there from Joseph. And he had an advancing thing. Chance here on the counter though. What a challenge there from Bailey. Bit of space for him. Goes for goal himself and it's straight into the bread basket there of Percy Fish. And a good head there from Robson. But... It's turned over, and Cameron will come away with it. Far side now for Joseph, Innes, Bailey. Press coming from Hawks Bay. Cameron. Oh, good work here from Joseph, but he just can't quite keep that one in. And a kick in here for Hawks Bay is Riley. Back onto the court. On the ball now. Chips this one for, but Cameron gets a good head to that. And still hard, good pace from him. But Joseph wins out in the end. Drops now for Cameron down the line, but no one running there for the Dragons. As Percy Fish throws long. Oakman gets a touch on it. Falls there for still hard in the end. Near side for. Robson cleared away but Oakman's there first but he can't keep that in pressure coming from Mustafa kicking for Hawks Bay Cameron wins the loose ball there driving forward is Cameron 
Good strength shown there from Cameron. A couple of step overs as well. Could work there from the number 20. Oakman. Uses Zenis. Far side now as he takes the space in the centre of the court. Drops back for Cameron. Bailey far side. Gets around Riley. Centres, but Oakman just not quite equal to that. And it rolls dangerously across the face of the goal. Will be a kick in. There's Riley. Plenty of time for him to send that forward. Falls there in the end for Innes. Cameron. Neither side really giving an inch at the moment as Innes gets around his marker. Good run here from Innes. As he gets the shot on target, but parried away there by Percy Fish. As Oakman. Just out of court. Well, off the line there from the kick in. And it will be a kick in here. There's Bailey and Robson both on the court at different parts. I don't know if the Alsco Tower will be called for. It is. It's been hard working today, that towel. Sure, there's some absorbency stats on it that I could share. It's still 3 3 here. Minute 24 remaining in this first half. The Dragons and Hawks Bay locked at 3 all. Four fouls for Canterbury, three for Hawks Bay. As they go long here for Cameron. Drops here for Oakman, who just leaves it behind. It's Riley who comes away with it. Mustafa now, a bit of space for him. Just falling over there as Ennis just clears that away. Percy Fish watches that one roll out. And he throws long here for Mustafa. Ennis gets in the way there, forces that out of court. Far side as Emerson. Comes back onto the court. Salad. Is, can't find the feet. Oakman now. Chips forward for Cameron. Touches back inside. Mustafa still working hard. Good work there from Cameron. Oh! Guy deserved a goal for that. It's still there for Ennis. As Riley getting high and Ford come Hawks Bay. Wow, what a move there from Cameron. Uh, sees court. And a yellow card shown there for Cameron, and that's the fifth foul for Canterbury. But 39 seconds remaining, so not too much time to navigate. And a tight tussle. Both games today, Hawks Bay have... Fought hard in that first half. It's just whether or not they can put in a repeat performance in the second. Fell away against Southern United. There's Emerson. Goes for goal and it's in. Wow. From a distance that you would argue is not super dangerous, but somehow that shot from Emerson sneaks its way through. And with 38.4 seconds remaining, Hawks Bay take the lead. Four goals to three. Well, they've come back from 3-1 down. And now ahead. Four goals to three. Three unanswered goals here from Hawks Bay. What can the Dragons do with his last 32 seconds as Oakman gets a little touch on the way through there. Will be a corner here for the Dragons. Oakman again. Parried away. Bailey. Good block there from Mustafa. Kick in now for the Dragons. 27 seconds remaining in this first half. 
Bailey drops for Innes down the line. And it is out of court. Goal line clearance. Keeper's ball here for Percy Fish. Yes, he throws long, but Cameron gets ahead to it. Innes, good touch from him. Gets the shot away, but straight at the keeper. And Emerson just chests and volleys that one out to the side of the court. As in a drops here for Bailey. And that's blocked there. 14 seconds remaining in this first half. Hawks Bay lead four goals to three. Chance here for Cameron. But it's Wright who comes away with it. Still going as Wright. They can't foul here, can the Dragons? Falls here for Wright. Shoots, good save from Clink. Had to be made. Two seconds remaining. One shooting opportunity left here for Hawks Bay. As falls here for Cameron, and he'll have a shot. It's wide of the target, and they'll do it for the first half. Entertaining. Hawks Bay take the slim lead into the break. Four goals to three over the Dragons. We'll be back here in five minutes. Stick around. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. we are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be. been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years.
live here at Main Power Stadium. Ford Futsal Super League Southern Travel Series. Last 20 minutes of action on court two. Currently, Southern United up five goals to nil over Capital. Capital just receiving a red card as well for a second yellow. So they've got a long two minutes ahead of them. And on this court here, Hawks Bay. Well, they've got their tails up. Up four goals to three over the Dragons. Entertaining first half. Dragons were leading three goals to one. Three unanswered from Hawks Bay. And it's Hawks Bay that'll take this lead into the start of the half. Emerson's been big on number 10 as we're underway. Last 20 minutes of the weekend is still out into a bit of space. Goes back post there for Mustafa, but it's Bailey who's there. And he pushes that one away out of court. Will be a kick in. There's a shot coming in from Lack, but that's high and wide off the target. There's Clink. Goes long here for Oakman. He holds that up nicely. There's Bailey now. Can't find a channel through Emerson. Still going as Bailey. And that will be a kick in for the Dragons on the far side. There's Oakman will jog over to take that one. There's Mitchell, shot comes across, but it's Mustafa who gets one to it. And Zimmerman. Wow. There's Percy Fish, collects that one out of the stance. Throws long here for Emerson, but it's the Dragons who come away with it. Oakman in a bit of space now. Has Bailey with him, but uses Mitchell. Mitchell shapes to shoot. Uh, just rolls away from him as Percy Fish. It's a good touch there from Emerson. Uh, he was just out of court. Uh, good turn there from Oakman, but again, runs out of real estate. There's uh, Lack near side for Emerson. But a bit of a wayward pass there. Bailey, far side for Oakman. Full press coming from Hawks Bay. Chance here for Sullard. Good work from Clink. Chance, and it's in. Oh! And it's that man again, Emerson. Mistake from the Dragons. And a good initial first save there from Clink, but falls to the feet of Emerson, who just slams that one away. And Hawks Bay out to five goals to three lead at the moment. There's a good challenge there from Lack. Falls for Oakman. Centres, but falls for Mustafa. There's Lack has to clear that one away. There's the Dragons come again through Bailey. Oakman tries to drop that one forward, but Lack will come forward with it. Emerson. And a good challenge there from Bailey on the far side. Kicking for Hawks Bay. There's Lack. Mustafa. Drops back for Lack. Mustafa. It's good pressure here from the Dragons, but that's. Oakman, who's going to come away with it. Still Oakman. There's Mitchell. Chance here for Zimmerman. And a good save there from Percy Fish. There's Charlie Bailey having a word with the referee. But... 
I think this will still be a kick in as Zimmerman. Good chat there from referee Anthony Riley. Personally, I wouldn't want to be on that side of a talking to. And I think it will be a kick in here for the Dragons on this near side. Just over two minutes gone. Hawks Bay lead five goals to three. Got to keep their head here, do the Dragons. As Bailey gets us back underway, open. That's a shot blocked there by Lack out of court. Will be a corner again for the Dragons. Bailey tries to get that one round Emerson. There's Oakman. Get us back underway. Zimmerman, far side for Mitchell. There's Emerson. Comes across on that one. Touch there on the hand, but it's a good challenge there. And a call back for the handball, I believe. As the referee saw no advantage there. First foul of the half for Hawks Bay. Zimmerman, Mitchell. Zimmerman finds the feet of Oakman. Zimmerman in a bit of space. Can he get the shot away? Steps inside. That's it. There you go. They've got one back here to the Dragons. And it's back to a one-goal lead here for Hawks Bay. It's a good finish there from Zimmerman. Shaped to shoot on his left and just cut back inside. Picked his spot in top corner. As Mustafa, bit of pressure, Oakman. Here come the, and that's going to be a card there for Zimmerman. As he took matters into his old hands. As Anthony Riley comes over. The Dragons. It's feeling like calls aren't going their way at the moment. There's yellow card showing there for Zimmerman. Late challenge on Lack. There's Mustafa. Lack sends that one long. Forty happen. Oh, chance here for. Paul Spay still going. Chance. That's in. How did they get in? Oh, that is some finish from Paul Spay. Wow. What an angle there. It's still hard. That's going to be credited with the goal. And Hawks Bay back out to a two goal to nil lead. The Dragons. Oh, goodness gracious me. Bailey can't get around Riley there. Six for the scoreline. As we look over, it is 5 1 now. Southern still leading Capital. And a goal back there. It's a good pull forward there for Bailey. But Riley doesn't have to head that one away. That's a good pull forward there for Oakman, but he can't reach it. And Percy Fish will send it long here for Hogg. Good touch from him. There's a good shot there from Mustafa. Off the crossbar. All happening here at Main Power Stadium. Hawks Bay. Just when you thought Canterbury Dragons may get back into this game. It's been all Hawks Bay again. Hogg. 
finds the feet of Mustafa. He gets around Bailey. Clink comes forward. There's a good call on the end from him. There's Clink. Bit of space for him. Clears that one away. There's Patterson. Back onto the court. Sent forward there by Lack. But out of court will be a goal line clearance. There's Clink. Throws long here for Oakman, but he can't bring that one under control. As Percy Fish goes long now, finds the feet of Hogg. And he'll get called for the foul there, just holding off Emberton. Bailey. As his passes out of court, far side. Almost four minutes gone here in the second half. Hawks Bay leading the Dragons six goals to four. On court two, nine minutes to go there. And it's Southern United up against Capital as Lack driving forward here. Good ball there, chance to shoot for Riley. And it's blocked there by Bailey out of court. Corner ball. There's a chance here for Lack, but just didn't quite have the body position right there. There's Clink, flows long here for Cameron, but Lack clears that one away. It's fallen nicely here for Patterson. Double team on him though, and it ends up out of court. Far side, kicking for the Dragons. Cleared away by Innes. Cameron brings it down nicely. Back as far as Bailey. Innes. Cameron. The challenge there from Lack. Far side for Bailey, but he can't keep that one in. Oh, Hawks Bay. Can they cause the upset? of the series. Some turnaround from 12-1 yesterday. Has Bailey driving forward here. Chance for the Dragons. Bailey still going as Bailey. But it's a good block there. And with eight minutes to go on court two, it's 6-1 in favour of Southern United. An interesting game over there. Game well and truly a bit quicker than this one. Capital do hold the ball well. Almost 10 minutes ahead. In terms of timing, as Clink throws long here for Bailey this time as he tries to get around Lack. Drops it back here for Cameron. Emberton near side for Bailey. As he tries to find some space, gets a shot away and a good save, and that'll be a foul there. Just the late challenge from Riley on Bailey. And dangerous position, this one. As will be Innes to sit over at yellow card show on there for Riley. Well, what can the Dragons do from here? I'd say it is a little bit out of shooting distance with traffic in the way, but we saw what Emerson did that first half. As Innes steps up, far side for Emberton, but blocked there by Riley. Good hands from the physio.
Yeah, Zinnis drives this one in, but Lack is there first. And he chips this one long here for Wright, who gets ahead to it. But it's just out of court. And it will be a kick in for the Dragons. Five minutes gone here. 6 4 the scoreline in favour of Hawks Bay. The Dragons, can they find a way back in? Good movement there, but Emberton. The shot is high of the target. And it's Percy Fish. Throws long here for Peterson. Too easy for him to bring that down. Lays it back for right. Good shot, but blocked and easy there for Clink. There's Emberton now. Comes central court. Innes. He takes court. Cameron. This is better from the Dragons. Emerson back onto the court. There's another foul there from right this time on Bailey. And that's the fifth foul for Hawks Bay. Wow. Foul trouble with 14 minutes remaining. Against Southern United in the first half, they had it similar, but didn't give any away. This will be interesting as Emerton sends that one forward to Cameron. Ennis. Emberton. Far side now for Cameron. Ennis. This is good from the Dragons, but that pass just not quite on target. As Percy Fish, happy to see that one roll away. Right. Good touch from him. Drops here for Patterson. Back as far as Emerson. Patterson, bit of space for him to move. Good hands there as it was Emberton who got in the way. And it will be a kick in on the far side now for Hawks Bay. Stillard shot away there, blocked by Bailey. Timeout ending on court two. There's a chance here for Emerson. Lays it in. Chance. Good work there from Cameron. As Hawks Bay get the ball back. Sullard. Foul called there. Um, Emberton. Second foul of the half for the Dragons. Of course, Hawks Bay in foul trouble on five. Robson, far side. Emerson. Press coming now from the Dragons. It's effective. Turnover ball. Chicken now for the Dragons. Ennis. Finds the feet of Cameron. Drops it back for Emberton. Cameron now. Good ball movement at the moment from the Dragons. Emberton. Back for Innes. He drives forward. Gets the shot away. Blocked though there by Robson. And we'll be out of court for a corner ball as change is coming. Oikawa into the action. Featured heavily in the Southern United games. Not so much in this game has the number seven for the Dragons. Richards as well. As Percy Fish, far side, goes long here for Robson, and he can't bring that one under control. Seven minutes gone in the second half. Six goals to four in favour of Hawks Bay. Five fouls for Hawks Bay. As... Is out of court, I believe. There's Robson. Can't get that one past Bailey. Emberton. Bailey. Far side now for Ennis. Bailey. Oikawa. Emberton. Good movement here from the Dragons. 
Good ball forward, Okawa, one on one. Can he get around the keeper? Oh, good save there from Emerson. Covering. And the finger wag as well. Looking over on court two. 6 2 now. Capital have got another one back, four minutes remaining there. Good chance for Oikawa. As in, it tries a shot in. And a good save there from Percy Fish. Twelve and a half minutes remaining. I just see the Dragons just run with the ball a little bit more, draw those fouls. Good save again from Percy Fish. And that will be a Hawks Bay ball. They've got the five fouls here, do the Dragons. They should be taking that chance to just run at this Hawks Bay team. We've got dangerous players. Innes, Oikawa, Bailey, Emberton on the court. As a shot comes in, and just flashes across the face of the goal there. Mustafa almost arriving late as Innes now. Full press coming from Hawks Bay. Good ball forward there for Emberton. He keeps that one in. Has Oikawa chance. And it's just high of the target. Or Percy Fish saves it. We'll chalk it up as a save. We'll need a fresh ball. As Emerson jogs over to use his tool frame. Well, some of us would have to jump to get that. He'd just reach over. Yeah, it's a good shot there from Emberton. Wins the corner. Well, they are knocking on the door here, the Dragons. There's just no way through at the moment. As Bailey drops that one and sent away there by Mustafa. Wow, 6-3 now. Southern still winning as Oikawa. Good shot there. Capital pegging it back on court two. As Percy Fish goes long, a little touch there from Emberton. Will be a corner. Hawks Bay flicks this one in. Oikawa there first, and that'll be a foul. And not sure in what direction, but it will be. No, it was a foul against Mustafa, who has shown the yellow. Had a few of those in the last two games. Have Hawks Bay and a chance here. From the 10-meter mark, looks like it's Wakawa. He'll step up. And they peg one back here. Oikawa versus Percy Fish. Again, it's not easy to score these ones. Just that little bit of extra distance just puts it in the advantage of the keep up. As Oikawa looks focused here. Steps forward, drives it, and a good save there from Percy Fish. Fell that one. And Hawks Bay survive. 12 minutes remaining here, though. Still on five fouls, so... And shuts! Oikawa almost gets it, and... Black wins the kick in. Go long here to Hawks Bay, but Innes first to that. And Mustafa does well there. No. Doesn't win the kick in. Out of court. Dragons ball. Can the Dragons get one back? Wikawa. Side netting. Almost for a second there. I thought that had gone in. It's like Percy Fish is still feeling that first shot from Wikawa. 
As they go long here for Mustafa, we can't bring that under control. Minute and a half remaining on court two. Southern lead six goals to three. As Mustafa puts ahead to that one. Minus forward here for Emberton. But it's Lack who's there. Sends it out of court far side. Wakawa. What can he do from this situation? Drives down the line. Gets a shot in, but it's side netting again. He's looking dangerous, the number seven. As Percy Fish throws long here for Mustafa. Away come the Dragons. It's Joseph. Falls here for Riley. Finds the feet of Mustafa. He shapes to shoot but drops it there for Anderson. Chance here for the Dragons. Good save there from Percy Fish. Still there. Can they get away? They can. Good tracking back there from Anderson. As Wikawa. Shot is blocked. Out of court. Wikawa. Shot comes in. Falls there for Mitchell. He drives a shot. It's still there for Mitchell. Shot away. Good save by Percy Fish. Chance for Joseph. Space. Sets onto his left, and that'll be a foul. As Anderson knew what he'd done as soon as he did it there. And it will be. Another free shot at goal here for the Dragons. Of course, you can pick whether you want it from the spot or the mark where the foul was. And it's this time it's Mitchell who opts for the uh, foul spot. Just slightly closer to the goal. As Mitchell, he lines up this time. Percy Fish, save. And they get rid of it here. And it's out of court. Well done there from Hawks Bay. Number two goes begging for the Dragons. Chance falls here for Joseph, but it's Emberton. His shot is wide of the target. Well, the Dragons are getting closer. But they just can't find a way through at the moment. This Hawks Bay defence holding firm. Riley tries to flick that one forward. Forward here for Oikawa now. Bit of space for him. Shot away, but wide of the target. On court two, 29 seconds remaining. 6-3, still the scoreline there. Imagine Capital will be fifth man. Yeah, it's a good challenge there from Emberton. There's Mitchell looking for the feet. Of Emberton, but it's out of court on this near side. Kick in now for... As a shot comes in, falls there for Emerson. Can they get round? Keep a no. Mitchell was in good position. And it's Mitchell who's driving forward now. Finds the feet of Oikawa. Far side. He tries to step around, gives it to Mitchell. Across the face of the goal. Joseph was there, but just not tracking that run in towards the back post. As Lack get us back underway. Goes long. Not too long. Straight to Clink. And just drops that for Emberton. Far side now for Joseph. Down the line for Oikawa. Trying to find the feet of Emberton as Riley drives forward now. Bit of space for him. Uses Lack, but it's wide of the target. And Clink will roll. Far side for Zimmerman. Joseph. Mitchell back for Ikawa. Finds the feet of Joseph. Good pass there. Needs numbers forward. Zimmerman drops for Mitchell. Shot coming in. Blocked there by Emerson. And it will be a kick in on this near side for the Dragons. Nine minutes, 40 remaining. 6-4 the scoreline in favour of Hawks Bay. And it looks like Southern United have got another one. 
And they'll finish 7-3 on court two. Chance here. Good tackle there from Zimmerman. Driving forward. Good tackle, though, from Anderson as well. They're working hard on defence here, our Hawks Bay. Shot from Zimmerman, but wide of the target. Final score of Southern United Capital. 7-3 in favour of Southern United. As they go long here. Emerson gets on the loose ball. Tries to turn Zimmerman. Finds the feet. Oh, almost there for Emerson. But Zimmerman did enough there. Good work there from Zimmerman. Oikawa in a bit of space. Drives into the half. Finds the feet of Joseph, but just flashes across the face of the goal. Do the Dragons need to try something different here? Just force the issue. Has the ball forward there for Riley. Falls for Oikawa. Good head. Mitchell. Good save there. And no foul. Everyone was holding their breath there. As Emerson cleared away the ball. Oikawa. Across the face of the goal again. This time Joseph runs a little too early. There's Riley. Sends forward for Wright. He gets ahead to that, but Clink comes out. Gets in the way. And goes long again for Oikawa. Good touch from him. Gets around Lack, but Hogg is there to clean up. Mitchell, back for Zimmerman. Oikawa leaves it for Mitchell as he gets round one. Chance here for the Dragons. Back for Joseph. And it's in. There it is. You felt it was coming. And the Dragons have pegged one back at 6-5 now. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Can the Dragons rescue this one? Lack. Still out. Heavy touch from him. Pressure coming now as Mitchell steps forward. Joseph almost leaves that behind as Wright coming forward. Still out now. Mitchell, good challenge from him. Drops it off here for Zimmerman. He lines up. Steps back inside. Still going as Zimmerman. Good block there from Lack. Hogg sends that one forward. Uh, it all fall there for Clink as he throws long. Good turn there from Zimmerman, but that was Lack that got in the way. And another ball up into the stands as they send another one forward. Wakawa. Joseph again. He's in the right areas. But just hasn't quite got on that one. As Percy Fish goes long. Mitchell's there first, though. Falls to Zimmerman and some space. He finds Mitchell. Falls here for Lack. He drives forward. Leaves the ball behind. Joseph now. Steps over. Gets a shot away, but blocked there by Percy Fish. And Wright just sends that one away. Corner. Shot from Zimmerman. And a good save there from Percy Fish. And thrown to Nike. Up in the stands, clearing out the balls. It's cooled on. As Percy Fish just sends that one away. Chance here for Okawa. Just couldn't get his balance right. As they go along for still out here. And he gets a shot away, but it's wide of the target. Lack driving forward now. Oakman on him. Good challenge there from Oakman. As he comes forward. Joseph now. Just wide of the target. They're creating those opportunities.
Rona Nike will have to get back up there. Another ball in the stands. Yeah, Stillard now driving forward. Round Mitchell almost finds the feet there of right. But it's Oakman now. He misses out. Patterson almost caught there by Oakman. Still Oakman though. And he leaves that behind out of court. Will be a kick in on this near side. Seven minutes remaining. Five fouls for Hawks Bay. Two for the Dragons. Shot comes in from right. But parried away there by Clink. Falls for Zimmerman. Oakman. Near side for Mitchell. Right comes forward on him. Oakman. Chips forward here. But Emerson. Heads on that one. And it's out of court on this near side. Bailey back onto the court. Joseph just sees that one through as far as Percy Fish. Good touch from Peterson. Steps inside and almost shapes for the shot. Oakman. Bailey. As a foul called. And it will be on the mark here for the Dragons. I was lucky it was cool because a shot came firing in there. And of course, Emerson can't believe it. All right, it's going to be Charlie Bailey this time. Hasn't worked with the other two. So I'll try number three. Charlie Bailey. Can he find a way through the defences of Percy Fish? Steps up. And over the crossbar from Bailey. So no one yet for the Dragons able to convert as Rona Nyker has taken position up on top of the stands. And a good challenge there from Joseph. Sees that one out of court on this near side. Six minutes remaining as the shot comes in there from Emerson. But it's wide of the target. There's Bailey up high. Joseph, far side for Mitchell. Here's Bailey now, flicks forward, but blocked there by Emerson. Mustafa, he takes a step forward. Has Stillard. Good challenge there from Mitchell. Driving forward now as Mitchell. He's got Oakman with him. Oakman. Steps back inside. Still going as Oakman. Drops back for Joseph. Still going as Joseph. But Stullard does well. Clears that away. Falls for Mustafa as he takes some space. And drives the shot in. It'll be a line clearance as Clink drops it for Bailey. Oakman now. Down the line but blocked there by Mustafa. There's Oakman. Good triangle there. There's Joseph in a bit of space. Bailey's back post. Uh, they just can't quite get the pass right. Still on here, though, for the Dragons. Oakman tries to get through a few. Bailey! Oh! And it's Emerson who's there. Had to be alert to it. I'm not sure Percy Fish knew where that one went as we see Richards back onto the court here for the Dragons. As Mitchell now tries and shoots against the wall. That is Emerson. Gives that one a quick rub. Five and a half minutes remaining here in the second half. 6-5 the scoreline. Bailey replaces that on the line. Chance here for Oakman. Still there. Comes away with it as Mustafa. As they drive forward here to... Hawks Bay. And the shot coming in from Mustafa. Wide of the target. Richards now. Emerson gets to that one first. He can't get that past Bailey, though. And it's forced out of court. Clink drops for Richards. Zimmerman back for Richards. Five minutes remaining here. Hawks Bay, Zimmerman. Can he shoot? Still on for Zimmerman. Good save there from Percy Fish. What an opportunity there for the Dragons. 
There's the Southern United boys. Come over to watch this one. 7-3 win for them against Capital. Similar story in their two games as they had with the Dragons. Lost the first and then a good convincing win in the second. As Richards now drops for Bailey. Bit of pressure coming on him now. Uses Zimmerman though, who goes long here. Good ball for Richards. Needed that touch there though, did Richards. And that's unfortunate. <laughs> Would have made things interesting. There's a lucky fan. Passes the ball back to Riley, who tows this one forward. Mustafa. Oh, wow, we still working hard as Mustafa still going. As Clink gets there eventually, and a nice little get up there as well. Goodness me, that was one for the highlights reel there from Mustafa. Have to clip that one. As yes, Percy Fish runs away, but it's actually a kicking on this near side. Four minutes remaining here. Hawks Bay lead six goals to five. Five fouls for Hawks Bay, two for the Dragons. They have three goes from the line. Have the Dragons, haven't converted any of them. And a timeout called here from Coach James Valance. Whew. All happening here at the main power stadium. Out in Rangiora, Ford Futsal Super League, Southern Travel Series. We'll be in Tauranga next weekend. When the teams up north will get their first chance to play. These teams would have already built a bit of scoreboard pressure with the points they've been taking. So every game there will be important. Capital just dropping the one game. Southern the two. This game, fascinating encounter. Hawks Bay have come out in that second half. To talk about that earlier, I thought they put on a performance in the first half against Southern United, but just weren't able to see it through in that second half. But this time round against the Dragons here, there were much more in it in this second half. No, oh, tick under just four minutes remaining here. Can the Dragons find a way back into it? They only need one. I think it's very interesting. As Clink cares that one away. As cries of two touch there. But according to referee Anthony Riley, it wasn't a purposeful pass. There's Oakman now. Plays it forward for Zimmerman. Oakman near side for Richards. Bailey. Riley looking after him. Falls nicely here for Zimmerman. Bailey in space. Oh, good save again from Percy Flashman. Bailey just skies that one. Another opportunity goes begging for the Dragons. And Hawks Bay, well, they're hanging on. There's the lucky fan. Get some ball boy action in this game. Has a good touch here. Riley back for right. Has a good challenge there from Richards. Bailey now coming forward. Chance here for the Dragons, but it's Emerson who's there first. Intercepts the pass for Zimmerman. Will be a corner. There's the Dragons trying to find a way through. Good save there from Percy Fish. As that one just cleared away. Ends up under the scaffolding. There's a couple of fans fight over the ball this time. Cameron, bit of space for him. Drives the shot in. But it's wide of the target. Three minutes 11 remaining here. Hawks Bay hanging on. As Percy Fish goes long for Emerson. Drops it off here for right. Shot comes in, but wide of the target. 
Zimmerman now. And have to stay calm to the Dragons. Cameron. Forward for Ennis. Can he draw the foul? And it's out of court on this near side. Kick in for Hawks Bay. There's Emerson. Oh, just having to deal with the drip again. There's that Elsko towel called into action again. Busy day. For that towel. And the referees seem happy, so we'll get back underway. Lack goes long, little touch there. Cameron can't bring it under control. Driving forward now is right. Taken by Zimmerman. He steps inside. Can he get the shot away? Drops back. This is good from Zimmerman. Richards now. Tries to find the feet there of Ennis, but it's fallen out wide for Riley. And good work here from Richards as he just sees that one out of court. Will be a kick in though. Toes for Zimmerman. Through the legs. Trying to find the feet of Richards there. And Percy Fish sends that one away. It was a good ball from Zimmerman. Had to be alert to it as Innes strides forward now. Two minutes, 20 remaining. Cameron drops back. Innes! Oh! What a chance there for the Dragons. And at the other end, Clink's got to come forward. And he almost... I'm not sure how that is a Dragons kicking. But anyway, we will move on. As Innes in a bit of space. Cameron drops back inside. Zimmerman in space. Can he get the shot away? Innes centers. Oh, Cameron sliding in. And it's out of court on the far side. Minute 56 remaining. Some excitement in this game. As Riley goes long here. As Richards just ducks under that one, falls back for Clink. He goes long for Cameron. And a good head there from Lack. As the keeper's just exchanging long throws as now it falls for Ennis. Shoots, blocked there from Lack. Still Ennis. And a foul from Percy Fish, I believe it was. And they'll go to the line again. Will the Dragons, as referee Anthony Riley gives them the options. And they pick the spot. And it's Hemi Innes turn. This is number four for the Dragons. Oikawa, Mitchell, Bailey, they've all had a go. And have failed to convert. And now it's the turn of Innes. And a save again from Percy Fish. Oh, goodness gracious me. Four opportunities for the Dragons. And they just can't beat Percy Fish at the moment. As Cameron drops it off for Richards, who heavy touch from him. And it's out of court on this near side. A minute 34 remaining. Hawks Bay hanging on at the moment. Lack sends that one long. That's Richards who's there first. Good head there by Stillard. Zimmerman. Out of court. Will be a kick in for Hawks Bay. Far side for Stillard. Press coming here from the Dragons. Good work here from Stillard as he drives into the half. Uses Riley through the legs of Richards, but Cameron's there to pick it up. Drops for Zimmerman. Near side now for Richards. Space for him as he drives into the half. Looking for the ball at the back post. It's in! Oh, can you believe it? What a ball from Richards. Just threads the needle through. And Cameron's there to tap it in. With one minute nine remaining, the Dragons are back level. What has this game got left in it? Can someone find the winning goal? Goodness gracious me. The Dragons have been working hard to get back into this. 
and they've bought it to six all as Riley tries to get around Richards. Still there for Riley, working hard. Clink clears that one as he drops for Innes. Drives across the court, far side now. Uses Richards on this near side and he cuts inside. Moves forward into the half as Richards. Good run so far for Richards. Lays off to Cameron. Steps inside. Can he get the shot away? Does, but it's straight to Percy Fish. As he throws long and just clears that one away. 37 seconds remaining here. Last chance for both sides, really. As Richards. Good ball here for Ennis. Ennis, one on one. Good save from Percy Fish. Wow, the Dragons. Shot comes in here from Zimmerman. Ah, it's blocked. Falls here for Richards, and he can't keep that one down. 25 seconds remaining. Chance here for Hawks Bay. They get Emerson onto the court as he goes high. Percy Fish throws long. And it is a corner here for Hawks Bay. 21.9 seconds remaining. Six all the scoreline. Mustafa, what can he do? Finds the feet of Emerson. Cameron falling over it. Falls there for Stillard. Chance here. Good defense here. And now Canterbury Dragons come away with it. It's Richards. Three on one. Lack falls back for Cameron. Zimmerman, Cameron. Falls there for Mustafa now. One on one with the keeper. Click goes forward. Good save there from Click. Emerson, it's in. Can you believe it? What a finish from Emerson with one second remaining. Came forward, thought he'd made a huge save, but it's Emerson who just slams that one into the back of the net. Goodness gracious me, what a finish here at Main Power Stadium. Oh. Hawks Bay for being up for most of this half. The Dragons clawed their way back into it. And they'll have to take a shot, which it hits the post as well. What a finish that would have been. And that is some game to finish the weekend. The Dragons clawed their way back to six all. But with one second remaining, it was Emerson who finished the goal. And then with literally the last kick of the game, the Dragons have hit the post. Well, wow. hope you enjoyed that weekend. That was some finish. These teams will be back in action in a couple of weeks. We'll be up north in Tauranga starting next weekend. As it looks like Hawks may have to rush off the court to get on a flight home. But there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this coverage over the weekend. It's been an absolute pleasure calling you through. Until next time, stay safe. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range, and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. 
Stork represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The Pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard, to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. One brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whānau where everyone is welcome.